We are live. In vivo. Oh, let me take off my Bluetooth. There we go. Now I won't be all robotic and whatnot. Bear with me just a second here, guys. I gotta put you guys on a poll. It's not a sexual reference, I promise. Um, this thing. But in order to do that, it's kind of hard one-handed. <laughs> Excuse me, what's up, Bernie? What's up, uh, Ellie, TCD, Jeff, Ross, nice to have you in here from Clearwater. Uh, oh, Bluto, what's up, man? All right, there we go. Chi, what's up? Who else is in here? Jan, what's up? Nice to have you here. Uh, I'm at the Scientology building. It's early, sorry. It's opening day for the Rockies. Good morning, Lorraine. Nice to have you in here. Your eyes are burning. How dare you? Uh, did I miss anybody? Sure I did. Brandy, welcome. Nice to have you here. Good morning from the East Coast. So it's a little later there. What are you at? 11 o'clock almost? 11 a.m.? Still morning. All right, bear with me, guys. So they're going to be filing right past the blue building. Yep. Um... Okay, so what's up, Nanya? Nice to have you here. I'm just uh, waiting to get across to the building here. Actually, I should probably get out of the car. Turn off the comfort of the warm, warm vehicle. Let me turn this around. All right, hang tight, guys. We're going to have a fun-filled day today. What's up, Noel? Nice to have you here. All right, here we go. Ugh. I have some goodies. Like my chair. And my bullhorn. But look, guys, the side gate is open. Let me get across. Oh, I can't walk fast. Ah! Okay, there we go. Check this out. I'm going to set up here. But check this out. Amy M. What's up, Caucasian Sasquatch? Oh my goodness, 4.8. That's pretty bad. What's up, Amy M.? Okay, tasty goodies for the people in the blue building. I don't have any protesting signs. All I got is this today, Bluto. I got this. I've got my megaphone and that's it. And I'm gonna be sitting here for a bit, just for a bit. Uh, I will be getting up here and, and again, but one man protest today with the bullhorn. Um, but look, they got the side gate open, guys. I don't know what prompted them to uh, open the side gate, but maybe it's opening day. And this is crazy. Let me set this up for you guys. And I really wished I wouldn't have wore shorts this morning, but I, I'm in shorts. <laughs> but let me, let me, uh, oh shit. My uh, trunk is still open. I, I gotta close that. Good thing I got this. Watch this. There we go. See it lower? The shark's so pretty today. Uh, but it's opening day today uh, at um, Coors Field. Lock my car. Um, the shark looks pretty. I gave it a bath yesterday. But what we're going to be doing um, at some point today, guys and gals, um, so we're obviously protesting. There's a few people that already got here. I got here a little too late for, for muster, so I should probably be... Uh, interrogated for that <laughs> but i'm gonna walk down i'm actually gonna walk down a little bit later oh shit somebody just walked in here here we go oh shit i wonder if they're going in that building they snuck in 
I'm I'm okay, uh, Bluto. I've had good days and I have bad days. I have a better day today. Uh, yeah, Jay's all right. Um, pain on my brain. Welcome in here, Peter Foster. Welcome. Uh, my back's okay. Um, it, it's you know it's it just day to day. That's all I can say. I mean, some days I have good days. Some days I have bad days. But I did bring my chair. I'm no longer using. Oh, hold on. Sir, you can leave Scientology. It's okay. Your family loves you. I'm sure you want to retire. All right. I didn't get a chance to say what I wanted to say. They, they're, they've been sneaky today. I got to keep an eye on it. Um, sick again, Flea Factory? Oh, man. That's no good. That's no bueno. No bueno. Rika, good morning. TCD, I don't know if I said hi to you, but welcome. Bruce from Down Under, good day. Good to see you too. Good to see everybody in here. Thank you for being in here. Um, I'm just here as a one-man protest, uh, but I will take you down there. It's going to be fun a little bit later. I don't know how long I'm going to be going today, um, but I will be going back to the car to warm up a time or two. Um, it's supposed to be 75 today, but I just don't, I don't feel it. Um, it's kind of chilly this morning. I should have grabbed my jacket. You know what? I, I, I might do that. What's up, Swedish Lena? Nice to have you here from Australia. Sandy Lee, good morning to you. Selfless, good morning. Corroded Pixel, my man. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Ma'am, you're, you're too young. Don't give them any more of your money. You have family that loves you. Uh, okay. Green, uh, Queen Thetan, welcome. Nice to have you here. Go Rockies, yes. Even though they're going to suck this year. <laughs> Michael Malloy, welcome. Nice to have you here. Uh... Solicitous, welcome. Nice to have you here as well. If I miss anybody, I do apologize. Uh, we're out here at the Scientology building. It's opening day for the Rockies. They'll be playing right there. I will, I will go down there and show you guys, uh, you know, just the kind of look and feel of the stadium and, and all that. I can't go inside the stadium. I don't have a ticket for today. It's sold out. But uh, as almost, I think every... Every year the Rockies have been in existence, the Rockies have sold out opening day. So I think it's like one of the longest streaks going. I don't know. Could be wrong. Yeah, it's fun to go to the Rockies games, uh, even though they lose most of the time. I mean, it is fun. It's an experience. Um, you know, it's kind of cool experience. Yeah, the Amtrak, yep. Kimberly, welcome. Nice to have you here. Uh, I hope it's a rocky day for the cult. I hope so too. Well, I'm going to I'm going to do my best to to foil any body routing plans. That's why I'm I'm here at the Scientology building and not down there. I don't know if they're going to have people that go down there. But this is a big day and I think this is going to be a big day for them. Um, so look how pretty the shark looks, guys. I don't know, I just looked at it and I thought I'd show you guys. So. Oh my God, these people. Whoa. Dog's not getting along. Come on. But uh, this is where they're, they're all going to be. The, the people are going to be coming this way. Susan P., welcome. Nice to have you here. Um, did I do something here? Hold on. Okay, good. Um, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be quite a day. There's a lot of foot traffic already, everybody, and uh, you know I, I'm expecting them to do body routing before and after the game. I'm definitely not going to um, stay till after the game. Obviously, I've got to go get Bernie. I think the game starts at 2 p.m. I will be here for a good chunk, though. Just to let everybody know. Uh, I will be here for a good long while. Um, just 
you know, doing a one-man protest. I mean, everybody kind of went in. I got caught a, caught a couple of people on their way in, but, uh, man, I need a jacket. I got to go get my jacket. So let me just uh, wait for the cars to subside, and I will be... Are you? Welcome. Nice to have you here. Fuzzy. Is Fuzzy in here? Hold on. Yep, Fuzzy Pink Handcuffs. Welcome. Nice to have you here. This lady's probably going uh, not to the Scientology building. Yeah, she's going on the opposite side, so she's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab my jacket, guys. Hold on. Ugh. This is a chore, I'm telling you guys. Ugh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going <laughs> as quick as I can. Ah. All right. Uh, let me go on the other side safer. <clears throat> Shark is looking good today, guys. I'm not going to lie. This car is looking amazing today. And... How stupid is this, guys? I have a jacket on and shorts. It's supposed to be 75 today. That's why I chose shorts. Okay, back across. Bear with me, guys, and then I'll get back to comments. It's just going to be us hanging out today, guys. Um, oh, man. I got to sit down for a second. This walking thing is no fun right now. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, let me look at chat here. Bama Gump is in the house. What's up, man? Big Chief. Hold on. Where's Big Chief? Big Chief. Hold on one second. I think I'm going to do this. Yes. All right, Big Chief. Type something, Big Chief. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? No surprises, bud. I posted MLH DJK. Yeah. Uh, Sasquatch does have a great channel. Maybe this will be a day of promotion, guys. Maybe I'll just be, you know, like my usual self and promote promote other channels. Uh, there you go, Big Chief. Lady BB, what's up? Nice to have you here, Forever 43. I don't know what that means, but welcome, Lady BB. <laughs> uh, Michael Andreas, game time is 2.10. Thank you. Uh, Linda Lesher, love you and appreciate your work to end. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Um, uh, you know what? I'm not, you know, as far as protesting goes, this is a one man protest. I don't have chalk. I don't have signs. I have a megaphone. Uh, I've got a chair and I've got a voice. That's, that's what I have today, guys. And that's what I'm using. Um, I do, I do plan on buying some chalk, some sidewalk chalk and, uh, doing that type of stuff and some signs and stuff like that witchy nice to have you here mimi nice to have you here as well do you know fleet factory says how we can get a permit to hand out flyers maybe put flyers about the survivors on cars around the building uh that would probably have to go through um the city oh, what is that department called uh, fleet factory yes uh, there's there's a way to do it um, but no, to answer your question, I don't know. Um, uh, but th there is, there is a process for that. Um, thank you, Jackie Kerr. I don't know if I, I welcomed you in the chat, but welcome. Nice to have you here. Uh, what else we got? The opening day for the Detroit Tigers. Go Tigers. I don't mind the Tigers. They're in a different league than the Rockies, uh, Kimberly. So we're good. Brandon Mitchell, welcome. Nice to have you here. Oh, there was almost an accident there. I wouldn't advise you going in your knees to do chalk and do to your back. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, we'll see. I, I'll do signs and stuff. Uh, Amy, thank you for, for that, though. I, I, I kind of agree with that. Uh, chalking probably wouldn't be the, the best thing to do. John Denicola permitting, I know. I mean handing out flyers just hand them out you know i mean how the fuck are they even gonna know you know i mean 
Uh, what do we got here? You're welcome, Jackie. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's. Does anybody have any channel milestones that they want to get to today? Actually, you know what? Bernie lost like 15 subs. Like she gained all these subs and then all of a sudden lost them, and she was so disappointed. Um, if you guys could sub to Bernie's channel, that would be fantastic. Um, or not, you know, but if somebody could put in Bernie's link, let's get her back over the 200 mark. Uh, can somebody tell me what she's at now? The last I checked, she was at like 185 or something. Um, I think uh, YouTube was just doing their, their thing. Uh, yeah, Witchy Bishy, that's, I mean, you know, uh, I understand what you're saying, but there's, there's a lot of problems with Scientology, like child trafficking and elderly abuse and, and uh, people being ripped from their families. There's a lot of bad here, and that's why I'm here. It's not a true religion. Um, so, you know, I understand your point of view. If you can't get behind it, that's, that's you know, it's, it's up to you. Uh, we are free Americans. 181. Damn, she lost four more. Thanks, G. Um, so yeah, let's get uh, let's get Bernie back over that that 200 hump. Um, you guys did it last time. I don't know why it didn't stick. Um, I think it's just YouTube with their stupid algorithms, you know, unsubbing people for whatever reason. But uh, it would be really nice if we could get Bernie over 200. It would make her day. She's she's had a a rough week, so. Thanks, uh, Jay. Appreciate that. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate that. Big time. Sandy Lee, thank you. Ex bootlicker. Nullification jury. <laughs> nice to have you in here, ex boot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no problem, Witchy. Thank you for being here. I see you, Jamie. Welcome, nice to have you here. Mick T, welcome, nice to have you here, sir. Fix bayonets. Um, what are we doing here? Okay, I think I got caught up. I think I got caught up here. Thank you, Susan P, I really appreciate that. And thank you, Noel. Noel's gig, thank you so much. I know, Sasquatch, you're, you're getting up there, man. You, you deserve it, Sasquatch. You have something that nobody else has. Thanks, Chi. Buy this brother some chicken, I know. <laughs> I could use it. Thank you, Fuzzy Pink Handcuffs. 197 damn that was quick yeah the the socks will get removed so let's get uh, bernie to like i don't know something like 215 that'd be great jamie yes i will be on rp grinders later um i have to go get bernie um, I have no idea how I'm going to be here. I think this might be a small mini marathon stream because I do want to show you guys like the, the vibe at Coors Field a little bit later. It's going to be warmer. I just, uh, man, right now it's a little chilly. Um, John Denicola, welcome. Nice to have you here. Um, we're at the Scientology building um, doing a, a one-man protest today. Uh, I don't quite do it like Jay, but... Um, you know, I'm trying to get through to at least one person to let them know. Like with the older people, my tact is, you know, you don't you want to retire with some money, um, you know, and security. Uh, with the younger ones, it's like don't give them any any more of your money. You know, I'm I'm trying to hit them with the money thing that uh, sometimes resonates with people. Uh, is Flea Factory in here, Brittany? Welcome, nice to have you here, Brittany Presley. Um, uh, okay, we're good. Let's see, let me just try to get, see if I'm, 
caught up here. Okay. Is <laughs> she related to Elvis? Uh, ask her. Ask Brittany. Uh, Evil Blue Eye, welcome. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Okay, cool. I think I'm caught up on chat. Um, you know, later on, I'm going to move the uh, shark to the other side and we'll play some music. Um, I monetized this stream, but I really shouldn't have monetized it because I did plan on having music. Uh, YouTube will, will take care of that for sure. But later on, we'll have some tunes. Um, right now, it's just going to be me talking to you guys. And Oh, here's somebody else. Hold on. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate that. All right, there's someone here. Hold on. Good morning, Jen. Jen Shaw Hater. I hope I said that right. Welcome on in. Nice to have you here. I appreciate everybody being here. Um, I'm uh, doing a, a one man protest with a, a bad back um but uh, i feel better today i'm not using a cane today so that's that's pos uh, positivity right it's okay to leave scientology fab daddy welcome ma'am don't you want to retire with some money in your pocket don't let these people take any more of your money you deserve better you deserve a better retirement Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate you, man. Um, I'm doing what I can do. I know it's not much, guys, but I'm, I'm really trying. Thank you, uh, Jen Shaw Hater. I hope that's how, how you say that. I'm, I, I mess up so many names. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Beachcomber, welcome. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Roxy Ol Ol Olameda, welcome. Nice to have you here. Uh, I'm feeling okay today. It's a little chilly this one. Hold on. Sir, it's okay to... Uh, Ma'am, it's okay to leave Scientology. You deserve a better retirement. How much money have you given the church? Call your family. They love you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for all the likes, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, we are here. Tell them TCF says free Josh. What does that mean, TCD? <laughs> Make Australia great again. Uh, donate to ML MLH. Thank you, Brandon. I do appreciate that. I am a one-man show today. Um, you know, so any, I mean, guys want to, uh, what do they say? What do the kids, uh, the hip kids say today? Buy me a coffee. <laughs> I was talking to Ellie this morning and I, I definitely need coffee. I don't drink coffee very often, but uh, today was one of those days that I could, I could use a coffee. <laughs> uh, but I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, uh, Brandon. It, it means a lot. Um, I never really ask for a donation, so it, it does mean quite, quite a bit when you guys donate. I love the mint sentence megaphone interruptions. Yeah, sorry. I know that was kind of jarring, fuzzy. <laughs> I know, that's going to be how it, how it goes uh, today. Um, you know, I will be here for a bit. Um, I'm going to, in a, probably in about an hour and a half, I'm going to move the, uh, I'm going to move the shark to the other side and we're going to have some tunes. So, um, you know, I don't, I, I don't have the ability to pick and choose tunes. So I'm not going to be DJ today, but I'll just, you know, I'll put on a variety of music. We'll, we'll listen to some rock and R&B and whatever else is, you know, on the old Sirius uh, satellite radio. Oh, Beachcomber, I, I'm glad I could help you with your day. You know, I know this is not the most exciting uh, um, of streams, but, uh, you know, we will get a little bit of work in today. And, you know, hope you guys enjoy the stream. Coffee is hot. Thanks, Fab Daddy. 
You don't want to talk to you without coffee, Brandon? I hear you. Hey, Chi, thank you. I, I saw what you did in, in Cash App. Thank you very much, Chi. I will definitely uh, get a coffee with that for sure. Uh, damn, I, I do need coffee. <laughs> I know, Big Chief, coffee does sound good, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm caught up on chat. Oh, it's raining, Jen? Shit. I mean, it's it's overcast today. Look at the skies, but you can see. Hold on. Let me stand up. Oh, that's tough. All right. You can see the blue skies are coming on in. It's going to be a great day for uh, baseball. And ooh, what the hell is going on down there? All right. I'll go down there in a bit, guys. I'll, I'll take a walk. Ah, Jesus, my back just gave out on me again. Ah, okay. There we go. Did I research Project Mockingbird? Um, Jamie, the answer, the quick answer to that is no. I, I've been, I've been, I know I say this all the time, Jamie, but I have literally, like the other day, I didn't get back to my house until 10 at night. Like it's been that way all week long. If I get free time, I'll, I'll check it out. Uh Aussie corn pusher got the jab. I hope it doesn't hurt him. <laughs> yeah, Chi, I think I'm going to get a cup of coffee with that later. <laughs> uh, but not from Starbucks because I'm not a big Starbucks guy. I'm more of a 7-Eleven guy, you know? Uh, okay. I think I'm caught up on chat again. Okay, perfect. You got Tiger Bomb uh, at the house. Not all First Amendment auditors. Hold on. Twyla, welcome. Nice to have you. Cop watchers are created equal. Wendy and Trashy are getting questionable police responses in Chicago. Do you know of a good First Amendment auditor in Chicago? Well, I just so happen I do, uh, Twyla. Uh, Twyla. Um, his name is Joe Cool, but he roves around the country, but he's based in Chicago. Um, that's, that's, I mean, that's the extent of my... First Amendment Chicago people. <laughs> so, you know, hope that helps you out a little bit. Joe Cole's a good dude. Good, good dude. The bumper sticker on your truck is misspelled. <laughs> I hate Starbucks. I like my own coffee I make at home. I like that too. I like that too, Amy M. But um, I don't know. 7 Eleven has really good coffee. Um, you know, all those little gas stations, they have like underrated coffee. I mean, I don't, how can you screw up coffee, honestly? I mean, maybe too, too, uh, I don't know, too strong, maybe? I don't know. Joe's a good dude. He is a good dude. Yeah, you're welcome, Twyla. I hope that, that helps you. Um, there might be some others. Yeah, get with Ellie. She, she might be able to help you. You miss DPN. Who's DPN? I'm not picky. I'll take any coffee, Brittany. You see, that's how I am, Brittany. I, like, I'm, I'm not a huge coffee drinker. Uh, but I, I, uh, I do like a, an occasional cup of coffee. Today would have been one of those days. I didn't even think about it. The only problem with coffee is you, it, it, you know, it's like a diuretic. So you, not dianetic, diuretic. <laughs> um, that makes you uh, have to go to the restroom. So, you know. No, I mean, it can be too strong, Jamie. Like, I've had coffee where it's just undrinkable. It's just way too strong, you know. But I, I do like a good, hearty, you know, I don't know, what do they call it? Medium roast coffee. You know, that's cool. Oh, dis, dis, disorderly product news. Yeah. R.I.P. Uh, I hear sirens, guys. I hope they're not here for me because all I'm doing is sitting in this uh, chair. Duncan, uh, Duncan messes up coffee? How could they mess up coffee? I thought Duncan had great coffee. I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're not for me. They, they, went, they went past Michael Malloy, so no worries there. No worries there. Here's someone else coming into the uh, Scientology building. Hold on. 
I love the megaphone because I don't have to like, like, you know, really like yell. <laughs> It's okay to leave Scientology. Your family really cares about you. Don't give any more money to this organization. They do nefarious things with your money. You could be doing a million other things with your money other than giving it to them. Please consider leaving. I don't know if you see those, those people in the, uh, the car over there. How many times has the church asked you for donations? It's hot chocolate right now. Hot chocolate weather right now for sure. Ooh, I could go for a hot chocolate. Maybe that would be better. No, coffee because of the caffeine. <laughs> Mid-sentence. I know. I, I'm, man, I'm terrible at that. Mid-sentence, I'm like, oh, shit. I got to get on the mic, uh, megaphone. There's a better life for you outside of this organization, I promise you. Check out sptvfoundation.org. They can help you get out. Don't give them any more of your money. You deserve a good retirement. Yeah, I do like, um, do like promoting uh, smaller channels and I mean, because I was there. I mean, when I started this uh, channel, my goal was 50. And you know why my goal was 50, guys and gals? I, I have another channel. It's called RP Grinders on YouTube and on Twitch. And that channel, I've been doing that, that show for almost 17 years. And it, uh, it, I don't even think it's hit the 50 mark yet. I think it's at, last I checked, it was like 48, 49. But I, I told myself a goal of mine would be to, on the new channel, to get 50 subscribers. 50. That's all I wanted. And now I'm well past 6,000 and we're, we're just going onwards and upwards. What do they say? Vertical? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Turn that off. Jesus, that was crazy. Okay. Um, Sweet Sun Slice, welcome. Nice to have you here. We could this, turn this into a drinking game. Every time he gets on the megaphone, take a drink. There you go. Take a sip of coffee every time I get on the megaphone. <laughs> Farrell Cheryl, nice to have you here. Uh, I know this isn't the most exciting of streams, guys and gals, but uh, I'm doing a one-man protest today. I'm going to be here for a little bit, so let's hunker down. Let's have some fun. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have anything that you want me to say to these people that are going in the building... Um, let me know. Bailey's and coffee. There you go. Top of the morning. Mimi's love. Nice to have you here. It won't highlight it. Um, are you needing, are you needing a, a link, uh, Sandy Lee, somebody put Sandy's link in. Let's just make this a love fest today. Let's promote. Let's let's keep let's get people to their milestones. How many is Bernie up to now? Pup Groomer, welcome. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh no, maybe. Hold on, let me see. Where are you going? Where are you going, Miss? Ugh. Gonna make me get up, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Since you made me get up, you're gonna get it. What's up, Chris P? Nice to have you here. Here at the Scientology building, we're just doing a one-man protest. Doing the best that I can with the creaky old back. It's opening day for the Rockies today, baseball. 203, beautiful. Let's get, let's get Bernie to 215. A, a girl, welcome. Nice to have you here. It's okay to leave Scientology, ma'am. You deserve a better retirement. Don't give them any more of your money. You deserve better.
you need a protest sleep. SBTVFoundation.org can help you get out, ma'am. Trust me, it's a better it's better out here. Alright. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> All right. Protest sleep. What is that? I need that. I haven't had a lot of sleep lately. Uh, yeah, I know, Lorraine. I, I'm trying to make it a little bit fun. Let's 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 do let you know. Let's try to get some people up to their milestones. If you're close to a milestone. And you have a chance, like, let, let us know what your milestone is. If it's within reach, you know, like if you're at the next hundred or, at, you know, you're at almost a thousand or, or something of that nature, let's try to, to promote everybody and, and get everybody in this, uh, this channel, some, some subs and, and, uh, it means a lot. Like I, I started from nothing to now 6,000, you know, over 6,000. So it does mean a lot to have somebody to support and sub and, and care. I mean, Last night, I'm not going to mention the channel right now, but there was a, a channel that I was, that I've always watched, you know, but I've never really, you know, and there, I was the only one watching that channel. Can you imagine having a channel and no one watching it? Um, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just, uh, I guess it's just the human, human in me. I, I think most people are good. Um, I've had this discussion with people before, like I, I I know that there are some bad people in this world, but, but the vast majority of us are good and Ill, well-intentioned and, you know, mean the best and, and um, a little bit of kindness goes a long ways, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it, I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling, I'm an old man, you know. Okay, um, somebody put uh, solicitous. How many, how many are you at? Wow, Pup Groomer's 400 sub. That's amazing, Fuzzy. Um, I am sitting down, Crispy. I, 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 uh, I will be getting up and down. Although, man, last time I got up, I was like, holy shit. I got to either keep moving or, or stay sitting. So I don't know what I want to do right now. I think it's just a combination. It just depends on my energy, what, what, I, what I feel like doing. If I feel like getting up, I'm going to get up. Um, yeah, we got a lot of work to do today. 433, uh, we might be able to get you close to that 500, uh, uh, solicitous. I do have a megaphone, sweet sun slice. Thank you, Sandy Lee. Appreciate that. Um, the goal today is to, I don't know, I, I, I guess the only way that I can, I can put this, it's opening day for baseball. It's usually a good feeling all the way around in the city. Let's just have some fun and um, promote other people and, and do a little bit of protesting in, in the meantime at the Scientology building. I will walk down uh, to Coors Field a little bit later uh, to show you guys the outside of that stadium and you know, kind of the vibe that's going on and stuff like that. I mean, it's going to be later on today. It's going to be wild. There's going to be a lot of people coming down this way and on the other side there. And that's when I'm expecting the Scientologists to try to, to, um, you know, body route people into the building. I'm sure they'll have people at the stadium trying to get people to go over and most likely after the game, I will not be here after the game. Um, but that's going to be the time. I think the major time that Scientology is going to be working overtime to to get people to get inside that building. Fluffer, welcome. Um, okay, so I've noticed that... Hold on. I've noticed that there's different ways of protesting, guys. None of us are, are the same, right? Jay is different from me. I'm different from Jay. I'm different from the people in in LA and Chicago and and everything, but but I I have noticed that that I in my opinion I think it's a but much better proposition to oh, what's going on here. Um, 
No, no worries, Fluffer. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, you guys are in chat, enjoying the chat, I hope. And, um, you know, today is all about, I don't know, I kind of feel like today is a good day to just be, just be kind and sub to people. You never know, like, like people's mental state, where they're at in their life. Can make, make a big difference if you give somebody a sub or if you join a live that somebody has and and you know they might not be monetized but but you're in there just showing support and and you know um you know genuinely being happy to be in a stream and supporting and you know i try to do it as much as possible i know you guys have seen me in other other chats i try to 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 support as many people as possible with the limited amount of time that i have because i know how important it is i know how important uh to have people in your stream is you know i mean without you guys the other day um, you know, when I, when I was at the, uh, the police station, I, I, you know, I mean, <laughs> it helps so much to have witnesses, you know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's start to grow other channels. That's, that's the way it, uh, you know, I, I try to, to do that. You know, I try to, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't get any comments. You took it down like a little baby chi. No, leave them, leave them up there. Leave your comments. The reason I wasn't commenting in yours, chi, is because there were, like, the comments weren't there. Leave the comments open. So you never know. Like, some people will, some, some people will most definitely um, uh, watch your videos on replay and, and comment. And that's always appreciated, too. If you guys can't can't catch a live like watch a previous video and leave a comment even if it's if even if it's critical you know if you guys didn't like something that i did or or you, you thought i could have done something better feel free to put a comment i i'm you know every saturday i do the comment show tomorrow's no exception i will be doing a comment show tomorrow sometime in the morning and um you know i i get to everybody's comments all the time i will most certainly um address anything that you guys have positive or negative no <laughs> look that that's a, a philosophical difference that i have with doa i love doa uh don't get me wrong but i don't like chastising chat and putting people in timeouts and 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 stuff like that like like the the point is you know you guys have a voice too as long as you're not you know being a racist or a homophobe or or bothering other people in chat badgering them i mean i even welcome trolls if trolls want to come on in and give me a hard time as long as it's not you know those mentioned things and it's not super persistent like all the time like it does get i do get um tired of it after a while but as long as you're being cool in chat like i have no issues with you guys expressing yourself if i'm doing something wrong or i'm doing something right let me know you know it's always always welcome hey tcd have a good day at work i hope you have a great day hey fila let's get her to thir no Hey, Jen, I'll do... Yeah, let's get her to at least 30. Let's get uh, A. Fila to at least 30. Is A. Fila in here? Can you please put a little more sass into your protest? <laughs> Jay. Oh, my goodness. Can a content creator make a YouTube Watcher 101 live discussion? I'm sure you could do that, Fab Daddy. That would actually was a really good idea. A. Fila, welcome to chat if I didn't welcome you. Uh, yeah, feral shows could use some watch hours. Let's uh, put that on the uh, background. Uh, don't don't leave this chat though. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Feral Cheryl is hilarious and gorgeous and amazing, and the mastermind behind Streets LA body thieving. Oh, okay. Well. Feral Cheryl, let's get you some watch hours. Ocean energy. I hear that, Michael Malloy.
construction workers are crazy. They have uh, just put no parking signs out in front of my truck, and I bet there will be a tow truck out there no, no later than noon. Oh, boy. That sucks, Jay. Am I breaking up? Let me know, guys. Is, is the stream okay? Ooh, we almost got a fila to 30. Okay, cool. Oh, man, you guys are awesome. I missed the IP for Sandy Lee's channel, and it erased from my chat feed. Somebody put Sandy Lee's in there for Roxy. Thank you, Roxy. Uh, okay. All right, I'm caught up on chat. And see, here's the... I was talking about DOA. Um, he does a decent job of uh, addressing chat, but he's got a lot of people in there. You know, I... I I can't imagine having five, six hundred people in a chat or more, you know, thousand people. And, and you know, the chat's just going wild, you know. I mean, I, you can't keep up with it. You know, you can just see what you can see and, and that's it. And I, I try to get everybody's comment, but there's sometimes, like, the other day when I was at the Aurora, um, the Aurora, what you call it, uh, public schools administrative building, um, I couldn't address the chat because I was, um, you know, engaged with, with something that I needed to pay attention to. So, and if you guys don't, don't know, just watch the video. Um, it was, I, I'm, uh, by the way, there's going to be more context to that video because I was doing a static video at first. Um, so I will be putting that on my channel, um, probably tomorrow or Sunday. So you guys have full context of what happened at the Aurora Public Schools Administrative Building. Um, I don't normally do any editing, but I am going to do a tiny bit of editing on that. Um, but you guys will get like 99% content uh, context. And anything that is that I cut out, I will let you guys know uh, what I what I cut out if it, it were, if it was significant or anything. Um, you know, because there's there's just uh, a couple of things that I got to cut out of that that uh that static video howard county welcome uh any plans on auditing any other fake religions well that that depends on what you consider a fake religion uh some people would say christianity is fake uh hco so i i'm i don't know if i'm gonna do that because i don't want to offend anybody you know i don't i don't want to show up at a catholic church and you know uh protest uh, hold on I don't, I don't want to show up at like a Catholic church, a major Catholic church and protest the, the, the priest diddlers or, or anything like that. I mean, everybody knows that's wrong. This is a little different. I don't really consider this a church. It's not, it's not a true religion. It was based on science fiction. So, you know. Thank you, Crispy. I appreciate you. Hope he doesn't say Mormons. Are you a Mormon, uh, Michael Malloy? <laughs> well, I mean, look, I could, I could protest at every religion because there's things about every religion that are just uh, atrocious. But I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I, I like I said, I, I, I don't want everybody piss off at me. If, like if I go to a Mormon church or, or if I go to a Catholic. Can you imagine me protesting at a Catholic church and? And you know, protesting the, the the way that they handle priests over there, like it w it probably wouldn't go over so well with the cat Catholics in my audience. I'm not trying to play pragmatic, but I'm just being realistic. I, I don't I don't want to ruffle, you know, I don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers. That's not what I'm about. I mean, it, uh, sometimes it takes ruffling of feathers, like in this case with with Scientology. But I, I, as you can see, my tact is not to berate anybody. My tact is to uh, show them that, you know, this church is eating up their money and there is a way to get out. You see what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I understand that HCO. I mean, <laughs> uh, but this isn't really a church, man. Like I said, it's based on science fiction with all the other major religions. It's based on you know, part historical um, anomalies, part, um, you know, beliefs and, and other things. Wow, that bird came awful close. Um, you know, this is just a different, different 
animal altogether. I mean, this is the only religion that I know of, so-called religion, that's based on science fiction. I mean, purely based on science fiction. The birds are, are trying to, did you see that shit, man? I, I, I'm gonna, you know what I might, that'd be a good, uh, a cool little short to catch that bird. I don't know if you guys saw that. It came really close. Where's Shelly? What's truth? Welcome. Nice to have you here. Yeah, see, that's okay. Hard to leave. That's another reason why this, this is kind of unique. It's not hard to leave any other religion, right? Like if you were a Buddhist, you could just say, I'm not a Buddhist anymore. I want to be a, a Christian. If you're a Christian, you can leave that church and become a Mormon uh, or uh, even a Scientologist if you want to. But if you're a Scientologist, it's very difficult to leave. And that's, that's an issue. And, and then the other issues are, you know, obviously the child trafficking, the child auditing pro procedures that they say they got rid of. But how do we know? You know, they won't let anybody in with the camera. So how do we know? Um, there's, you know, there's people that are being abused that are elderly. And that's something that, that is near and dear to my heart. My parents are elderly and I don't want anybody taking advantage of them, you know. Uh, Ma'am, please don't go into that building. You deserve better. Um, you know, there's, there. I mean, th there's so many things with Scientology that are just wrong. You know, the elderly abuse, the, the, the child trafficking. Hold on. Don't go in there, ma'am. They'll take all your money. They will. They'll take all your money. Don't go in there, please. There's a better way. <laughs> oh, please don't go in there. Just go right on through. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do it. Ugh. She went in the building. Sorry, guys. I tried. Uh, I don't know if he's necessarily rude, Roxy, but, but I don't, um, for me, my tact is this chat is, uh, and I explained this on, on a live, uh, the other day, I believe that chat is the lifeblood of a stream, right? And then you have the mods, which are kind of like the white blood cells of that blood, right? So they take care of all the viruses and, and icky stuff that, that could arise in chat. Um, but but the chatters i i i you know i mean you guys are the lifeblood of this channel you guys are what keeps this channel you know at the level that it is and we're like i said we're continuing to grow y'all we're, we're not going to stop anytime soon i'm fully expecting by the end of summer to hopefully like reach ten thousand. so let's let's uh let's keep the positive momentum going that way you know i've seen that dog he's so cool joy uh what am i missing uh, welcome, Joy. Nice to have you here. He won't use a mod. I know. See, that's the thing. And that's another thing that I, I'm not very fond of. Like, he got rid of all his mods because of some mod BS. You have to have mods. Mods are vitally important to your channel. You know, I mean, I, I, I can't stress it enough. I had a Creator 101 lesson for new creators. Uh, and I don't know it all. Let's just get that out there, too, y'all. I'm not... I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know everything about YouTube and how it works and, and all. But I do know that mods are vitally important to a channel. They really are. Um, and they work hard and they work for no money. You know, so um, I just can't thank my mods enough. I mean, I, I have really, really great mods. All right, let's see. What do we got here? This Scianto is so on another level. They think they're above the law. They are... Uh, judge jury they cannot come and go they think their business not a faith or a church is uh, above real world law are cruel I agree crispy one of DOA's idiots gap teeth something messaged me and insulted my belly in a bear costume while telling me that he's this and that I get how it's easy for someone with little patience to go off no I understand uh, she and that's not right you know body shaming is never a good look you know that's really bad um, what else we got? Lou, welcome. 
My ex-wife knows everything she can tell you. I know, Lou. My ex-wife is the same way. Uh, that moron didn't know I was wearing a fanny pack. F him, Chi. Lisa Love, welcome. Feel free to take a doggo break and say hello. I'm up for it anytime. What does that mean, Lisa Love? Are you here in Denver? <laughs> you want to come visit me? You're more than welcome. If you're in the Denver area, you want to come visit, say hi, you know. Oh. Did they take your money? No, I didn't get any. Oh, good. That's good. Stay away from them. That, that, that's all they want is your money. Um, she didn't give them any money. That's great. Um, what else we got? Mods here are exemplary, but many are not. Some channels are overrun with too many, and some are dictating to the extremes. I understand that, Fizzy. Uh, I, I was very careful. Um, let, me, let me tell you the story of, of how my mods are who they are right now, okay? So when I first started this channel, I did the normal thing that every, every creator does is make a bunch of people mods because, oh, here's a friend, here's a friend, here's a friend, here's a friend. I need to show reverence to this person. Here's a friend, here's a friend, here's a wrench, here's a wrench, here, you know, just went wild with it. I made the, a cardinal mistake for, with doing that because eventually people get disillusioned with their channel, you know, for whatever reason. I don't know why, but like my channel's always been righteous, right? Like I, I don't say that to toot my own horn. I say that because, you know, I've always had good intentions on this channel. I do homeless outreach. I, you know, there's, there's so many things that I do on this channel but uh, somebody will always find a reason to hate your guts. And I ran into it and a mod went wild and started blocking people and started, uh, you know, causing issues and, and just when, you know, full bore, um, you know, rogue mod, what they call rogue mod. And that's, um, go Rockies guys. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, uh, a mod can ruin, absolutely ruin your channel. So after that, I decided to take all the wrenches away and, and just be very meticulous and vet people and, and really understand like who's who. And I would notice uh, mods in other channels and if they were acting great or if they were being shitty, I would, I would take note of that. And finally I whittled it down to just, you know, I, I, at one point I think I had like, I don't know, like over 40, 50 mods and, and I whittled that down and whittled it down until I, I, I really got to the people that really, you know, cared about the channel and, and cared about my well-being and, and uh, you know, that's how I, uh, I approached it. And um, it's been working ever since. I mean, today I just, I just modded Big Chief and that was the first mod that I had, I had made in quite some time. You know, and, and, and it takes a lot for me to make somebody a mod. Like, you you really have to be good at what you do, you know. And, and you know, it just, um, I don't know. It's just what it is. Uh, let's see. Too many cooks in the kitchen, yeah. If you want to say hello to any dogs that pass by, I'm up for it as a viewer. Doggo moment by proxy. I don't get out of them. Oh, I got you, Lisa. Lisa Love, I got you covered. Um, when when a dog passes by, I will definitely take the time. And if I can pet them and do any of that, I will. Uh, I'm a big uh, animal lover myself, and uh, I sure will uh, do that. Yeah, I love the doggos. A religion can also be a cult. They are not mutually exclusive. Religion seems to be a legal term doesn't negate you from behaving uh, legally yeah Canadian girl welcome the mods and streets channel are way too extra okay I haven't noticed that but maybe they are uh, look if you're gonna mod if you're if you're if you're modding on feelings that, that it's not for you all right like uh, you have to have a thick skin to be a mod you know you, and and the channel owner really sets the rules you know the channel owner is the one that you know that everybody has to respect what what their roles are if a, if a channel owner um, uh, accepts racist comments then i guess who am i to say you know you can't do that but there are uh, rules and regulations that even youtube will regulate so you 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 got to watch that you know i have 
I do have block words in my chance. I, I know I'm a big First Amendment guy, but, um, you know, just to avoid YouTube taking down my channel or striking it for stupid reasons like too much negativity in your chat, I, I put all the bad words on, on block. But that doesn't mean that you guys can't use symbols to get your point across. If you want to say F you to somebody that you see on, on the camera, then put in the chat F whatever, 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 K, you know, and then, you know, your point is well taken. I, I'm big on the use of language. I think bad words um, are not bad. I think they're just words that, that can express what you need to, to say in the moment, and I use them quite often. So, you know, we are adults here, and it's an adult world. I don't, my channel is not for kids. Um, you know, there could be naughty words. There could be uh, moments of extreme whatever you know i mean but that's just the way that it is uh polite respectful discussion of opposing views can be done i agree i agree crispy being a mod is hard you don't get my uh mind reading powers with the ranch and try worrying about a creator you are nowhere near at silly times in the morning mods do it out of love love them back that's that's right um you know it's it's not it's it's not as easy as just putting in someone's link in you know there are <laughs> there's so much more to modding if you want to know more about that jen's got a great uh modding 101 um series of videos i think there's two of them out now on jen's channel uh which ellie was a participant in and uh that'll give you a good insight on on what it takes to be a, a, a decent to good to great mod um streets mods are excessive especially with the slow mode option it's annoying I do agree with that, but the, here's why they put the slow mode in that chat, um, Roxy. Um, Alan B, welcome. Nice to have you here. Um, the, the slow mode is for chats that get way out of control. Like, like I could tell, like if my channel was at 100,000 subs and I had 1,000 people in that chat all the time, like it gets wild and, and I can't keep up with it. So slow mode has its, its um, it, I guess its use, but... For a channel like mine, like there's never really a time right now. I mean, I know it's getting a little more wild, but but I, I think I can handle it and the mods can handle it. And if the mods can handle it, they know what to do. So, you know, you, you will ha hardly ever see slow mode uh, on this channel. You will see subscriber mode on. That keeps a lot of the, uh, the bad trolls out, um, you know, stuff like that. Truth Seeker, welcome. And a bunch of lines, welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't read it if it goes by too fast. I, I have, I've been friends with someone and I didn't know that they were racist and they uh, thought I was white. Imagine my face when the, the moist back word came flying out in traffic. Oh, gee, sorry that happened to you. Sometimes the naughty, naughty words cannot be helped when it's Scientology related. It's just so... Uh, ridiculous and infuriating at times. Uh, no, uh, see that there you go. Karen M is close to a thousand. Let's get Karen. M. Ooh, Karen M is a great channel. You guys like a lot of good singing with X Bootlicker. How close is she? Boot uh, X Boot. We'll try to get her there. We'll try to get her there. Uh, argue with the chat and have attitude. Love the mods here. Yeah, I don't. There, none of my mods will do that. I guarantee that. Ooh, is that door open? No, it's not open. Okay. Um, you can mention whoever. I don't... There's, <laughs> it's not... <laughs> you can mention uh, other channels here. I don't, you know... It's okay to let offensive stuff come through. That way you can adjust your level of respect for them. That's all. I'm stop being... No, Chi, I don't... It, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> no worries. No worries at all. This is a, a freedom of, of expression here. You know, as long as you're not being racist, <laughs> as long as you're not being homophobic, and as long as you're not badgering someone else, say what you want. You know, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that at all. And I don't think any of my mods will have a problem with that. They weed out anything that needs to be weeded out. I trust my mods implicitly. Every mod that's in here, I trust to do the right thing. None of them that I know, uh, and I've, I've vetted every single one, none of my mods have ever 
um, modded based on feelings. They could not like what somebody says to me in a chat. Um, and, and I'm the same way. I'm a human being. You know, if you're mean to me, then, then I, you know, I have feelings too, you know. I'm not going to sit here and cry over it because I got better things to do. Bigger fish to fry, as they say. Uh, you know, just me. Welcome. Nice to have you here from Belfast, Northern Ireland. That's right, Brittany. I noticed that Lara FM gets lots of trolls. It's a good thing that her mods are on the ball. The only thing I don't like about watching Laura's streams is she doesn't address the chat enough. I don't, I don't know if that's just because there's so many chatters there. But uh, look at the traffic here coming through, guys. It's only going to get uh, bigger and bigger throughout the day. Um, so, um, yeah, just... Uh, you know, I, I like I like to address chat. I mean, like I said, the chat is the lifeblood of, the, of uh, the stream and it's the lifeblood of the channel. Without the chatters and the replayers and, you know, the archive listeners, there, there's no channel. So, you know, I get it. Um, we're awaiting Storm Kathleen tomorrow. Wow. Oh, that's right, man. I hope I hope you're okay, just me. That I did, I did kind of see that. We don't get a lot of like other world news here here in the states. You know, they try to shield us from the rest of the world for whatever reason. But I I do like understanding and knowing what's going on with other people's weather and you know other things going around on around the world. When I watch the streamers, I hate looking at feet. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't turn away. <laughs> uh, some channel chats are nonsense, one-liners, odd flirtation, arguing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if I like the creator, I hide the chat. That's a good tack too, you know. Yeah, I I always try to acknowledge the super chats. I mean, that's. You know, somebody's taking money out of their pocket to give it to me. And it's important that I recognize that person. I do hate that too. That's a big no-no. I, I, I will always try to recognize. Uh, and if I miss it right away, like I'll click on it and I will, I will get to that person and I will thank them personally for doing that. So yeah, that's a good point. Uh, put stuff uh, between them for the rest of the stream <laughs> for the foot fetishes out there no I don't, I don't think anybody wants to see my crusty toes gee <laughs> although I take fairly good care of myself you know I mean I don't know maybe not so much with the eating I gotta lose a few pounds the foot weirdos <laughs> yeah can we uh address you by something other than underlying <laughs> maybe that's how we'll address you underlying uh chris on the drums welcome que pasa, que, que pasa con, con usted, man how are you doing chris nice to have you here i do have the megaphone alan it's right here look there's the megaphone and that was courtesy of tcd thank you tcd um what else am i missing yeah, I, I would prefer to address you. I mean, honestly, pup groomer. It's funny, hubby is Puerto Rican Dutch, looks like a Puerto Rican lumberjack. I'm Italian, Scottish, look Italian. Neither of us consider ourselves full white. Everyone has different level of color. Yeah, I mean, look at my color, guys. <laughs> uh, but look, my I don't want to show you guys my hairy legs, but my legs are white because they don't get exposed to the sun all that often. Well, they're whiter than this. <laughs> the English isn't my first or second language, Laura Lai says, so I have to think longer before writing. Sometimes the topic is over. What's your first language, Laura? If it's Spanish, I can address you in Spanish. A little bit. And feel free to type in your native language, I mean, if that makes you feel better. Um, dude, you never know that only fans is very strange. Yeah, but look, all they would get is this. My white socks and my, my black shoes. <laughs> Your name is Linus. Linus? <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's great to watch poor 
Tori read all her chats at midnight with Magoo. Her mods had to step in and put it to a stop so she could get some sleep. I know. I'm kind of that way too. I like to address everybody. I don't know. I love everybody, I guess. Um, you are using your new holder or whatever it's called. Yes, Lady BB, I am. I can't show you it. I showed it earlier, uh, but I am. I'm using it. I gave my old one to KDOT. Thank you. It's a selfie stick. That's what it is. But I love the selfie sticks. A lot of people have gimbals because it does stabilize things and everything. But um, for now, this is perfect, Lady BB. So that's what I'm using. I will eventually get a gimbal. My old one crapped out. If you bend over <laughs> far enough, so, uh, everyone's brown somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's silly to focus on color. It really is. Uh, I identify as pasty, pasty white, Joy says. <laughs> Ooh, let's get um, Roxy up to 50. That would be cool. And let's get Sandy up to 20. We can't read, we can't mod other languages. If it's Spanish, I'll translate for you, Jen. I promise. <laughs> I will, I will, oh, Dutch and German, Lorelei. Um, you know, the, the extent of my, my, I have no Dutch knowledge. Um, the extent of my German is uh, Braunschweiger and um, Scheitzkopf. That's shithead. Um, sorry for the language. That's about it. That's about it, uh, Lorelei. He likes ignoring people and feeling dominant over them. I do not, Jamie. Just you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's get Roxy over 50. That would be cool. Dutch and Scottish, Jackie Kerr says. Okay, I don't know any, any Scottish. Um, I identify as see-through. This is really happening. Welcome to chat. Awesome. Over 50. Awesome. Beautiful. Good job, guys and gals. Guten Tag. Yeah, I know that one. The extent of my ger German is Yiddish. <laughs> Amy M, you're funny. Muchisimas gracias. Um, I love sub days. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Any Punch Buggy, welcome. Nice to have you here. Um, anybody else have any milestones that they're trying to reach? You know, like if you're close to 50, 75, 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. You know, let's, let's uh, spread some love today. Today is the day of kindness. It's opening day at... Uh, Coors Field in Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. Uh, expecting a big crowd today. It's always sold out. Uh, I'm here doing my mini one-man sitting protest. Um, you know, I'm gonna go in the car for a little bit to warm up, guys. Uh, my legs are a little, little chilly. So let's just uh, head over to the shark. Um, let's get some music in. What do you guys think? Um, I will come back. I'll take about a half an hour, maybe 15, 20 minutes to to get warmed up. My legs are just chilly and cold. Like, it's not super cold today. It's going to be 75 today, they said. So um, let's uh, let's get warmed up, and then we'll, we'll come back and sit in our chair here. We'll go to a stand. Did you, did you know? Yes, I did know that. Um, uh... I did know that. It's cool. It's, it was a, a very similar to the last one I had, Lady BB. The only difference being is that um, this one has a selfie like light, like selfie stick light thing on it, which is really cool. Oh, shit. I almost turned on. Ah. Okay. Hold on. Ah. Let's turn around here. Let's turn on the car so we can get some heat. And then we will uh, discuss some more stuff, and then I'll get back out there. I just need to get warmed up for a little bit, guys. Uh, let's put on some heat. I have heated seats, too, so that's really nice. Um, I can't... I want cake and Latvian? Okay, Fluffer, I'll, I'll put it in chat. I'd love, love to see it. Patrick Skinner, welcome. Nice to have you in chat. That was a possible Scottish accent? Okay, thank you, Jackie. 
Um, let's see. Who am I missing? Did I miss it? If I miss anybody, I do apologize. Boring American here. Back to mid uh, 1600s and wish I had richer cultural ties. Nah, Fizzy. You know, always be proud of who you are. You know, it doesn't matter. We're all Americans We're here in the United States anyways. I know we got people watching from abroad. Um, you know, we're all people. We all bleed the same, right? If I cut my hand right now, it would bleed red. I promise you. I don't have Xenu blue blood or whatever the hell they think that, <laughs> that you know, whatever type of blood Xenu has. But um, we're all people. Um, we all bleed the same. We all breed the same too yeah it's true Canada okay Sandy Lee I have uh, quite a few people from Canada that uh, that uh, enjoy the channel be proud of what you do instead of your luck with the gene pool I agree put it earlier probably butchered the spelling fluffer okay uh, Jay Maria Olivares welcome nice to have you here um, wearing shorts it's actually really nice uh, Jamie like I can't explain it like there's a chill to the air but as soon as this this cloud here let me show you as soon as this cloud situation um, you know leaves then uh, we'll be okay um, give me a few minutes here and then we'll we'll get back out it I know you guys want um, more protesting less talking but um, I have to warm up. <laughs> My legs were just a little too cold. And, you know, I, I do have a jacket on, which I'm going to take off here probably in a few. Um, but, you know, such is the life of an activist. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be 70 degrees, um, 70, 75 by the afternoon. Ooh, a Fila needs 20 more, 21 more subs. Let's get A Fila to 50. Come on, I know we can do it. Um, it's great when the sun is out, but once you get some shade, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the sh like those clouds are covering the the sun, uh, no bueno. You know, um, it was funny yesterday. I took uh, the shark for maintenance, right? And um, I was sitting, I, I went outside because it was, it was so gorgeous. It was like 70 degrees and I sat on, um, I sat on a bench and it was like literally 10 minutes and my knees sunburned a little bit. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes and my knees are sunburned. I'm like, damn, man, that's crazy. All right, let's see. What do we got here? I believe in exactly what you were saying. Love to everyone. Just daydream about no hate or hostility. It's the only way. L. Ron Hemorrhoid. <laughs> I love the name. I forgot to change my channel name. I've been subbing to everyone on both of my channels. Thank you, L. Ron. L. Ron Hemorrhoid. L. Ron Doofus. L. Ron... L. Ron... I don't know. <laughs> uh, 19 subs. Yes, Sandy. Uh, we probably could get you... To at least 25. I think that's fair. Um, let's see. Uh, Tim Perrigan, welcome. Global warming. Yeah, I know. You know what's funny, Tim, is people don't, don't believe in global warming, but the science says otherwise. The science is there. Um, shouldn't be surprising with how white your legs are. How dare you, Jamie? That is true. It is true. I don't want to, I'm embarrassed. My, my legs are super, super white. They, they hardly ever get exposed to the sun, but I, I wear shorts in the summertime a lot. So they do get slightly browner in the summer. Um, who else am I missing? Did I miss anybody? Ooh, 13 more subs. We can do that. We can definitely do that. I feel, uh, L Ronitz hub weird. There you go, Jackie. I'm going to stream the Eclipse on my other channel. Ooh, that's awesome, Lady BB. What's your other channel? That's interesting. Let's, uh, do you guys want to listen to some music? Let's listen to some music. Hold on.
I'm looking. Oh, does anybody like Journey? You hear it? <laughs> Is it the eclipse now? Just a small town girl. Nine more subs for Apila. I mean, I have a voice just like Steve Perry's, just saying. Chief, you're stupid, Chief. <laughs> Sing along, Crispy. They are not lies, Jen. The proof's on, on Bernie's channel. You know, the new singer of Journey is awesome, too. It's amazing. I got to tell you guys this story. I just thought of it. And, and Jen and Ellie might know this, but, but I, I don't know if you guys remember Jen and Ellie. When I first started this channel, I didn't have something like this right here this mount right so i would do my colfax runs right going up a street on you know a lot like this the colfax you know the colfax runs i used to do and i still do um and i would have to hold my my camera as i'm driving just like this and i kept i don't know how i kept i i was looking at some of those old streams and I have no idea how I kept it as stable as I did. <laughs> but I would be holding it just like this, driving, right? Not looking at chat, but just driving, right? <laughs> uh, has a great voice. Yeah, thank you, HCO. There you go. Yes, it's Journey. I know, there's a lot of memories. Let me turn it up. I'll shut up, I promise. Journey. I love Steve Perry, Susan P. Yeah, I know. Chris on the drums, Arnell sounds great. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about that. Yeah, uh, this video is not going to be monetized, guys. Um, you know, I think uh, Chi already took care of that. I got a, I got a, um, a cash app from Chi. And... Um, I get, uh, okay, let me turn this around. Mars Volta, Crispy, I, I wish I could, but I, all I, here, look, here. All I have is, is Sirius Satellite Radio, and you can't, like, make requests, so it's just whatever is on. Like, right now, Pantera's playing. Let's see what, what Pantera, that song they're playing. Hold on. Um, what's going on here? Oh, Five Minutes Alone. Here we go. A little bit of uh, heavy metal for you guys. Um, did we get uh, Aphila to up to 50? Awesome. No, uh, HCO is exactly correct. I have a great voice. I have a voice of an angel. I'm a crooner. Oh, 51 subs for Aphila. Awesome. Oh, here's Rush. Oh, wait, hold on. Here's something a little more palatable. I like this song. Give me a few more minutes, guys. Okay, so let's talk about the um, the monetization thing. Yes, you're right. When the minute that I played that that journey song, this this particular stream became unmonetizable. But I'm here to tell you guys, like at least with my channel, I know the bigger channels would disagree. They get lots of money for their streams and videos and stuff. Um, I I do not. I get literally pennies on the dollar when it comes to streaming or or videos. So 
anytime you guys contribute i'm not asking for it but it's always appreciated it does help offset whatever pennies i get from um from doing live streams or or videos um yeah i can chair dance with the best of them too ellie I can lip sync like a mother too, Jackie. It's all good. Um, Rick Emmett from Triumph is the best. I love Triumph, Joy. Triumph is a great band. All right, Pup Groomer, stay safe. I will be in Vegas later this year. In October, I'm going to go to Vegas with Bernie and my son. It's going to be wild. It's going to be awesome. I will be live streaming from Vegas. Um, fun streams. Um, and maybe a cop watch or two. We don't know. And I might make a visit to the Scientology building. That's right, Afila. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, AdSense is almost non-existent. All right, a few more minutes, guys. Let's listen to a couple more tunes, and then I'll get back out there. Chichi Kana, I'll be in Vegas in uh, October. Mid October. I like Pearl Jam, Crispy. All right. You know what I could do? I could I could show you guys my screen, and you guys can pick the song. Hold on. Everybody likes some some doors, right? All right, Roxy, thank you for joining. We appreciate it. You need a blanket? I'm good. It's actually going to be really warm today, uh, Amy. I'm awesome. Alternative new wave fan? Hold on. I got you, Amy. I got you. Hold on. Monica Cook, welcome. The Bombs, welcome from New York. That's awesome, Chris on the drums. I don't need a blankie, Jen. Comer, Independent Squirrels make an awesome crew, yes. Anybody like Motley Crue?
Eddie Money, oh man. I like Eddie Money. Black Wire! <laughs> B Blitz with the 10 spot. Rush. Happy Buck the Cops Day. All right, Blee Bits. If, if Rush comes on, I will definitely play it. It was on earlier. Yeah, no worries, uh, AP. All about love today. Oh my God, Chi Chi Kana, that's funny. I know, Jamie. Ozzy is, ooh. I love his music though. All right, I'm gonna switch up here. I want my big 80s on eight. Little heart, nothing wrong with that. Oh wait, Van Halen takes precedence. Sick rewind. Yes. B bombs. If I if I find it, I'll I'll put it on for you. Some violent fans. Growing up in Scientology, welcome. We're just enjoying a little bit of music while I warm up. Leibitz, thank you for the 10 spot. Old school Van Halen. I used to have Guitar Hero too, Jay. I need a shave. The question is, Jay, can you play this on guitar? <laughs> May the force be with you. Welcome on in. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a great front man, for sure. But I'm, I'm not in this camp that I didn't like later Van Halen. I love both versions of Van Halen. Right on, Mimi's love. Van Halen, not Van Hagar. I like Van Hagar to you, Chris. Chris Manitz, welcome to chat. Nice to have you here. Uh, we are protesting Scientology. We're just having a little bit of fun. I'm warming up right now. We're just enjoying some tunes. I know, Chris on the drums, that sucks. Who else could rock glittery suspenders and white gloves? I, I could do it. I could do it. Yeah, me too, V-Bombs. I think they both were great. Uh, I, I wish I could have got to that tour where they had both. That would have been awesome. Yeah, Sammy Hagar was an awesome artist before he got with Van Halen. Yep. All right. Mimi's love, we're gonna get you 18 more subs. 18 more, let's do it. <laughs> Jamie, you're funny. I would look like a minion. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. I probably would look like a minion. Huh? Yeah, it's a great album, uh, Crispy. Yeah, Montrose. That's right. That's right. You remember that, uh, Chris, on the drums. I remember, too. We're going to get Mimi up to 50. Watch. I have a feeling it's coming, Mimi. You're going to be able to go live real soon. Eight more to go, guys. We can do this. Buenos noches. Dias, Ayfila. Eugene, Oregon. Cool. Music through the ages of our AM radio in the car. Making cassette tapes. Yeah, everybody remembers that, making cassette tapes. Um, you know, you, you'd have to wait till the top 20 countdown or whatever and then hit play and the D DJ would usually talk over Famous your fucking thing. We all had those mixtapes, right? Alright, let's see what we got next here. Oh, check this out. 
um, you know, the guy gets gets his songs out there. Seven Watch this. This is going to bring some of you all back. I promise. On the way at the big 80s. Woo! 50. You miss cassettes? I don't, Amy. You think you're Jimi Hendrix, Alan B? That's right, man. The force of the song is awesome. Yeah, does, hold on. Does anybody know who sings it without Googling? Does anybody know who sings Electric Avenue? Deep in my heart, I am MC, welcome. Eddie Grant. Yes, who said that? B bombs. Eddie Grant. Yes. Eddie Grant. You guys got it. Eddie Grant. All right, we're going to switch it up here. Today. Who's this? Who's this, chat? Yes! Chris on the drums, you got it. Very good, very good. I'm going to switch it up again. Sorry guys, I gotta switch it up again. <laughs> so listen to this, I'm neither confirming or denying that. Yep, Salisbury Hill, that's what that was. What is this? Anybody know this one? Oh, no, it's busy. You got it. Oh, uh, B-Bomb's got it first. Yeah. So good. So good. So good. So good. Okay. I'm warmed up now, guys. So the music is going away for just a minute. We're gonna we got some more protesting to do. I, I gotta get back out there. We, we we have a mission today, right? Hold on. Alright, here we go. Ugh. Don't forget my megaphone. All right, guys. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun. We'll go back. I promise. Ooh, it's almost getting warm enough where I can take off my jacket. All right. Hold on, guys. Ah, <sighs> okay, we're back. It was Hollow Notes. <laughs> you seen live B-bombs, all of it? Awesome. I used to play drums back in the day, if you can believe that. But I wasn't very good. I could still, I could still catch a beat here and again, but uh, uh, you know, I haven't practiced in years, <laughs> decades. All right, what else we got here? 
Sally Boyer, welcome. Uh, Fleetwood, Rolling Stones, Queen, on and on, yep. You know, that's a good point, Busy. We're having so much fun out here, right? Like, I could, I could literally stay in my car and we could do that stream. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do, after, after a little while here of protesting, I'm going to walk down to Coors Field so I can show you guys, like, uh, check this out. Look at these people. They're, on the, they're all going to the Rockies game. I knew there would be lots of traffic here. No worries, Jen. That's awesome, Sandy Lee. So many people that are so talented. I wish I had a little bit of talent. <laughs> Guitar talent. Um, ooh, the big Ford truck is here. Oh, I don't think he's a Scientologist. He's going, yeah. Okay. He's going over there. He's parking. Probably one of the residents. I'm very late. Snow day, so went back to bed. Wish I was at a ball game. What's up, IMF? Nice to have you in here. Uh, mana Nui Nui. What do you do for a job? <laughs> if you're being a troll... I will tell you what I do for a job. Listen up, everybody. I don't have a job. I don't need a job. <laughs> this is my job. This is my calling. I don't make a lot of money doing it. I make very little money doing this. Um, if you want to know what my source of income is, that's kind of private, is it not? I don't think I'm going to get into that. But I will tell you, I'm okay. I live very frugally, very humbly. Uh, Bernie and I... You know, we, we do things a little bit differently than a lot of people. So Bernie allows me to uh, do what I do. And I, I cherish and respect her in every need that she has. And it just works. So there's your answer. Have a great day, Maria. Thanks for coming in. Later, Lisa Love. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming on in. You are the best for being here. I appreciate you. Um, you know what? Um, I think what I'm going to do, we've been, how long have we been live here? Um, like an hour and a half? Is that, is that what I'm looking at? An hour and a half? <laughs> You're welcome, Anna. Uh... Yes. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a walk. I'm going to leave my stuff here. And then we're going to take a walk down here to Coors Field. I'm going to show you guys the stadium, what's going on down there. We're going to leave our stuff here. And then I'll show you guys. And actually, I could leave my jacket too. All right, here we go, guys. I'm just gonna walk down to the stadium here. It's gonna take me a little bit because I'm not the quickest. Uh, Joe Cool, what's up, man? 30 minutes out, okay. The game starts at 2.10. Oh, well, 2.10 Mountain Time, so 4.10 Eastern Time. 410 Eastern. Look at the doggy. Oh, doggy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys see the doggy? Hope I got a good uh, shot of the doggy for you guys. Somebody was asking for that earlier. I don't know who that was, but there's the doggy. Yeah, we're walking down here. <laughs> Is there things to do around there for fans before the game? There's plenty of bars and restaurants. Um, it's a great place to, uh, to go to a game. It really is. 
Um, it's one of the greatest, from what I gather and from what I've experienced, I've actually been inside the stadium. I've been before the stadium, after the stadium. Uh, it's a great experience. If you guys are ever wanting a, a thing to do, um, going to a baseball game in Denver is actually really, really cool. Um, like I said, lots of restaurants and bars, downtown Denver. Uh, great food, by the way. Uh, very underrated. Uh, Denver has great food. Um, let's see. Um, let's get down here. I just want to show you guys. Selling uh, peanuts before the game so you don't have to... Uh, Pay the exorbitant prices inside the stadium. Huh. That's interesting. Cozy 107.5 is here. The radio. Everybody's here right now. See, it's actually really cool. I don't know what this is. I don't know, some band, I guess. All right, look, here's the stadium, guys. It's a gorgeous stadium. Inside is really awesome. Uh, it's really, really pretty inside, and there's not a bad seat in the house. Like, when you're inside that stadium, you can see the mountain range and it's really really gorgeous it's really pretty even if you're in the upper seats or lower seats it doesn't matter you get a good view of the mountains it's really cool they designed this stadium with great care um really really cool but this is the extent of i'm going down here uh, i'm not gonna go all over there walking is really a chore guys so this is the extent of my my walking my back won't take too much more but but there's the stadium in all its glory that's where you go in right there, one of the entrances. There's another entrance on the other side. Um, but it's just a really cool place. There's lots of, uh, like I said, there's lots of restaurants. There's lots of, um, you know, lot, a lot of everything going on today. So um, it's really cool. So let's head on back because I don't want to leave my, my jacket and my megaphone down there. Fenway Park, I would love to do that. Yeah, let's uh, let's just have a good day. This is a day of promotion, a day of fun, a day of music. Uh, I know Jay's going to be out here later today, and that's good because he, he can catch all the people uh, coming away from the stadium, and hopefully they don't route them into, uh, you know, into the Scientology building. That's the point: is try to keep people away from that building uh, and away from going inside. You know. Um, but let's let's do some things here oh man my back's really really catching it <laughs> sorry guys I gotta take my time as I go back there but it's pretty awesome here at the, I mean everybody's usually really happy on opening day that's why I love I love coming down here I love going to opening day I just didn't get tickets this year if I had tickets, I would totally fucking live stream from inside the stadium, guys. I really would. <clears throat> Hang tight. I'll get to chat here in just a second. I, it's like driving. I can't, can't do chat while I'm walking. I can't walk and chat, guys. It's not like walking and chewing gum, you know? Slightly different. Hold on, we're almost there. But you can see the route, it's literally like a block, block and a half away. Uh, oh boy, okay, can I make this light? Nope, I'm not gonna make it, guys. I'm gonna have to wait for the next one. I can't walk that fast. Uh, Did, did somebody have a vest on like me? Huh. I didn't see it. I didn't catch it. <laughs> you guys are way more observant than I am. I did not catch that. There's a Denver PD. I wonder where he's going. 
What if I go now, guys? What if I go now? Car thief, what's up, my man? Hope you're doing well, dude. Glad to see you back. Is that my vest you're wearing good, sir? Yes. All right, I'm gonna cross now. Yeah. Whew, okay. We're almost back to square one. And then we're gonna have some fun again. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, this is what I'm gonna do. We did good work. We did some good protesting. We caught a few people as I went in. I said what I needed to say. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the rest up to Jay later on today. But stay, stick around because we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get in the shark, and we are going to do a Colfax run. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stick around for a little bit because I did see uh, Joe Cool was on his way. I don't know if he's coming down here or what but we'll stick around for a little bit and then we'll we'll head into the shark look how pretty it looks in the sun guys move your move your car i want to see my car hold on let's see if we can see it hold on just looks so pretty in the sun i wanted to give you guys a a picture of the uh, of the shark look at that look how pretty that looks in the sun guys It's a comfy chair, MLH. I like it. Yes. 394 days of wrong, wrongful imprisonment due to malicious prosecution and abuse. A prosecutorial... And did... Are you... I mean, is there anything you can do? You can't see my chair. There it is. Pray first. I know, Jamie. That's true. Amber Venas, welcome. Nice to have you here. No, that's true. Nobody is like me, car thief. But nobody's like the shark. Look at that. God, that's so pretty in the sun. I just cleaned it yesterday. That's why I'm proud of it. Sorry, guys. I had to get that in. All right, let's sit for a bit. We'll talk. And then we will take a drive. Uh, okay. Oh. I needed that. Whew. Okay. Mexican lawn chair. <laughs> you know what? There we go. There's uh, we have the bush of truth up there, right? And now we have the Mexican lawn chair. <laughs> I love it, fuzzy. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man. This don't look like Virginia to me. I get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's beautiful in Virginia, KJ. But thank you for recognizing that. I don't know if you guys saw that. I, I posted a... Um, I know KJ saw it. Um, what are they doing? Are they... How you doing? That's good, uh, Carthy. That's good to hear, man. Yeah, did you guys see that helicopter? Uh, my daughter's saving for her first car, and that's going to be her dream car, a Prius. A brand new one or, or the old school ones? Is it that one right there? Nothing can, can top the shark. Sorry. <laughs> you saw that post, Jamie? Yeah, it was a post about some dude emailed me. Um... <laughs> I mean, you guys just gotta look at it. It's so stupid and ridiculous, you know? I, I have to laugh, like people were concerned, like a lot of people emailed me, you know, you gotta be careful, you know, you gotta, you know, and it's like, look, it's an email from somebody in a different state, you know? I mean, it was, a, it actually, if you read that email, it was a, a dog whistle for a lot of racist uh, rhetoric. And I'm used to that. I've dealt with that my whole life. So, you know, it's not, not a big, don't hit the shark. Don't hit my shark. Okay, you're good. Um, 
Okay, I'll wait here then. I'm waiting. Even though I have to pee like a racehorse, I'll, I'll wait for Joe Cool. It's all good in the hood. The 2022? Yeah, um, actually, the, the, if, if I was you, I would recommend getting the newer one, like the, like the shark there. Um, just because it has double the horsepower, it's got better safety features. Um, it's all around just a much better vehicle. I used to have a, um, um, tell her to spend the extra and get a new one. You know, just tell her to get a new one. Um, I used to have a, an older Prius um, and I sold that to my son and it just now, just now, he just sold it because <laughs> it broke down. There was something wrong with the ABS brake pump or whatever. I don't fucking know, but I, I, I wasn't going to spend the money. I didn't have the money to spend to, to get that thing fixed. And he just decided to sell it. Matter of fact, on Monday, I'll be going with him to get his new car. Uh, it'll be a used car, but <laughs> you know, we'll do what we can. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I told him I can't help him with money, but you know, uh, yes, he's a 1A legend for sure. Rosie Ruiz, welcome. Nice to have you here. Joe who? <laughs> we are in Denver, Car Thief. This is Denver, Colorado. We're at the Church of Scientology building. We are currently protesting. Oh man, another, oh, look at that. I don't know what message it's, it has, but. Yeah, I the the new pre, tell her just to to eat the extra money. Kate Brown, Friday, September sixth at Coors Field. I don't know who Kate Brown is, but she's gonna be at Coors Field apparently. Um, yeah, I I really like um, the this new Prius. It's very very cool, and and it drives completely different. It's better, sportier. I mean, it drives like an actual car, not a glorified um, um, go-kart. <laughs> um, but I did like my old Prius, too. It saved on gas. I mean, when I sold it to my son, I was still getting over 40 miles to the gallon. And that was pretty amazing for, for a car that was a 2008. You know, getting like something like 43, 44 miles to the gallon, sometimes more. Um, the Prius, I hardly ever have to worry about gas. <laughs> But I get, I get probably 50 miles to the gallon if I'm just using just gas. But I'm usually on electricity. For the first 40, 43 miles, it's just electricity. And that pretty much covers me most of the day. So, No recalls, Jamie. Nothing yet on the new Prius. Uh, but I keep checking my app and checking online. There's no, no recalls. Okay. Man, Joe, Joe better get here pretty soon because uh, uh, the, the spots are clearing up. <laughs> you know, the, the, all these meters are gonna be full by, by the time game time arrives. But it's pretty awesome here, guys. I can tell you, I, 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 I enjoyed it. The sun's coming out. It's starting to look a lot, lot better here. Forty-seven miles per gallon, yeah, that's good. Is Pyology owned by Scientology? No, but P Pientology is owned by Scientology. Um, <laughs> if you want to know what that reference is, to check out Jay's channel, where where a couple members of the public decided to publicly pee on the side of the Church of Scientology. So there you go. Please don't go in there. Please don't go in there. Yeah, keep on walking. Okay. How are you combating COS tarp tech? Well, look, um, Rosie, um, the, the side, you know how they had the side closed? Now they have it open. So that's, that's one way. <laughs> um, you know, uh, in general, um, I'm not here for you unless you're going into that Scientology building, people. Don't worry. Oh, they might be going in there. Davin Prospector, welcome. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you here, uh, Gavin. 
Davin, Davin, I, I think you should do more with your channel. He does gold panning and stuff like that. And, and um, you know, in places you would never expect. Like, he took me to one place uh, here in the city that I never would have in a million years expected there to be gold. And, and, and uh, he knows all the spots. Good dude, Davin. Really appreciate you, bud. Haven't seen you in a while, man. We're going to have to rectify that real soon. Oh, I better uh, plug my battery in. I'm losing battery juice. Davin's got a great channel. I don't know if you guys heard that. I was ranting about how, how good of a dude uh, Davin is. Does gold prospecting. You need a tripod? Yeah. Yeah, you, your channel would be... I mean, the, the gold panning channels are pretty, pretty hot, man. Like, uh, I watch Vogus from now on, now and again, and Dan Hurd, and um, who else? Uh, some other people that do some great uh, gold digging. <laughs> Fort Lupton. Did you move, Devin? Nance Drew, welcome. Nice to have you here. I know, Pugface, you made my view viewership go down. Now, now you have to do a super chat. Just saying. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I like those dudes, uh, Dabbin. Those dudes are cool. They are very cool indeed. Yeah, thanks for being here, Nance. We're just uh, doing a mini one-man protest here at the Scientology building. Um, I'm gonna be here for a little while longer. I don't know how much longer, but then I'm gonna take you guys on, a, on an old school Colfax run, which, um, you know, I think all the new members should, should know the roots of this channel. I really did just do Colfax runs where I would do cop watches. I would, you know, find, you know, different cop watching things. And if I didn't, that's really, really good. That just means nobody was, you know, everything was calm and, nothing was going on i would i would much prefer that than than having any type of uh, confrontation with any any police so uh, we're gonna do that again though seven years in westminster was a sad day Jeez. fix up and sell didn't want to sell it to us damn it dabbing that really sucks man i'm sorry to hear that bro um shit that really sucks, man. Why didn't he want to sell it to you? That that'd have been a natural thing. I mean, you were you were there for so long, you know? That's so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Plug face. Well, let's see how many anonymous we uh, ones we get uh, uh, PayPal donations from now until I end the stream. How about that, Pugface? Is that fair? <laughs> and then I'll know it's you, dude. Then I'll know it's you. <laughs> I also have Cash App and Venmo, if, the, if you would prefer those. <laughs> oh, man. All the police and COS has to do to end your channel would be to act right, but they simply are incapable. I, I agree with that mostly, Rosie, but my channel would move on because I do multiple things, but that would be a huge, 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 uh, I don't know if you want to say blow to the channel, <laughs> but um, uh, it would definitely put a dent in it, but I would continue on. I got other things to do, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm a, a jack of all trades. I, I don't just do any one thing. I do hear sirens. I hope they're for me. Please let, they, let them be for me. That's where I excel in. You guys saw. Yeah, I know. My channel isn't going anywhere. <laughs> it's going to be a while before, uh, you know, the corruption gets cleaned up with police and, and the church goes away. I get it. But, um, it. Even if they did, I think... You know, I'm a jack of all trades. And there's more than one cult. That's right, Tim. Can't wait for Vegas. Oh, man. Alan B. I can't wait either. It's going to be so fun. Uh, in mid-October, if you guys want to meet me in Vegas, 
I'll give you guys the dates as we get closer to that point. But uh, this is going to be the final Vegas trip for a while. Uh, I want to take my son down there. Um, Bernie's son is going to be there. So that's going to be the first time that our sons have, have met. And it's going to be just going to be really, really cool. Um, we're going to have tons of fun down there. I'm going to do live streaming when I can. Um, I will get to a slot machine for you, Alan. Uh, last year, I think it was last year, Bernie and I won $1,000 on a slot. So it was actually really cool. Hopefully we can repeat that this year. Um, but I don't want it to be all about slot machines. I'm, I'm going to do a lot of fun activities with, with the boys. And, um, you know, we're just going to have tons of fun. It's going to be really cool. Hold on a second here, guys. I see someone. Please consider leaving, ma'am. You have family that loves you. And we love you out here. We'd love to have fun with you. Maybe have lunch or something. All right. That was my little way uh grooming training crochet random crafts and around my historic town that's awesome pup groomer imagine if the people inside walked out right now and engaged you in a healthy normal intelligent conversation about all the issues with your church it would be devastating to your channel um i don't know about devastating but i actually would like i would love that i would love for these people to just come out have a conversation with me you know i know i know I know more than the average person about Scientology. Um, I was never in, but I, you know, I don't know all the ins like like a Natalie or a Laura. Laura does, but I know enough to hold a decent conversation with these people, and I know that all these people aren't bad, right? So the the point is is to is to point out the the good things that are out here for these people, you know, and 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 try to help them get out, you know, and. You know, try to make people think like like the, that lady right there probably was in her mid 50s, 60s, maybe. And it's sad because her whole retirement is going in, into that that church. So it's just one of those things. Oh, what do we got down here? Hold on. Hold on. We have a cop watch, guys. I'm going to go down there. We have a cop watch. So something's going on down here. Let's let's see what it is. Take me out for dinner. Yeah, why not? I mean, I wouldn't mind. You know, I mean, I couldn't afford to take them all out to a dinner, but one or two people, let's go. Let's have a conversation over dinner, over drinks, right? Maybe maybe beer is your thing. I'll buy you a beer, you know? Like Jay says, let's let's go have a beer together. Let's talk. I mean, yeah, I mean, you get I just want to make sure this guy doesn't get hurt, guys. Jody, welcome. Nice to have you here. Hang on, guys. We got a cop watch here. I just want to make sure this guy doesn't get beat up or hurt or, you know anything of that nature and i also want to get this license plate so people in the denver area can know that this is a police officer all right these guys are faster than i am so in order to not ruffle any feathers i'm going to stay well away from this officer i just don't trust them so let's uh Let's go here, see what's up. Denver Sheriff, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay right here. I don't know why they're giving this guy a hard time, but Look at the tattoos. I don't know if you see the tattoos on this guy. Uh, Ellie, I have more faith in people here. If I was in LA or Chicago or New York, it might be a different story, but I, I, I'm fully aware. These are nice jerseys. 
I'm just gonna make sure this guy doesn't uh, hurt this guy. But look at those tattoos. Yeah, I know, Ellie. But I mean, it's just all it is is a jacket and a lawn chair. I got two more lawn chairs in in my uh, car and the shark, and I got uh, you know I, those megaphones. I don't think are too too expensive. I'll have to talk to TCD about it. Uh, just making sure this guy doesn't do anything stupid here, guys. Sheriffs are actually worse than than cops, but Yo, hey, uh, where's the I saw you I'm thinking, man, they just Yeah, I, apparently, I'm, I'm listening to this guy, guys. Apparently, he's worried about the meters. This fucking sheriff is worried about the goddamn meters. So that's what the rub is here. So he's harassing this guy for being at the meter. I don't understand it. Are you selling those? Yeah. How much, how much is that jersey right there? This is 75. 75? Okay. Or two for 125. Okay. I was just asking, I, I, are you are you down here all the time yeah. for the games? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I, actually, that's not a bad price, Ellie. Those things go for like a, well over a hundred dollars. Those uh, those jerseys. I would love to have one, but I mean, I can't afford seventy-five bucks. <laughs> I really would like to have one of those jerseys. Are they telling you to get out of here? Are they telling you to get out of here? Are they telling you to leave? Oh, no, 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 no. I was good here. Okay. I was just, uh, you know, they have some of those agents out on opening day because mine are replicas. Okay. So I got you. Yeah. So, so they're trying to weed out the... Uh, on the, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Know, you. Opening day. It was the same thing with the Nuggets, man. Yeah. After opening day, you know, it's not they don't a big care. deal, man. Yeah. So, what you doing down here? What you just read? Uh, I was protesting Scientology, but I saw this cop here, and I did. I was making sure he wasn't going to hurt you. Or, oh, no, no. He's a good friend you know. of mine. I used to coach his son in football. Oh, okay. Yep. I was just making sure. You oh, know, yeah. Good like, deal, man. Appreciate yeah, yeah. Have a good day, man. Bye. All right. We're going back now. I made sure that that cop wasn't going to do anything. Uh, but apparently, he's friends with the guy, so we're good. Uh, it looks like the, the chair, the Mexican lawn chair is still intact. <laughs> But two for 125, that's not too bad. I might come back, uh, grab a couple of jerseys. Uh, I can't make it. Okay, we'll wait for the light. That's a smart thing to do, right? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I know, knockoff. I wouldn't pay 75. That's, I thought they were real. <laughs> I mean, they look real. I mean, I'm sure they're good quality and all, but you know. I don't know, but two for 125 doesn't sound too bad to me. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. <clears throat> if I ever get uh, big time money, if I win that lotto, <laughs> I will do it. Please don't take my stuff. I can't run and chase after you. As cute as you two are, I can't chase after you. All right. Undefeated tech, that's right, that's right, Jay. Oh, look, doggy. We got doggy cam. <laughs> you have a good day, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. <laughs> have a good day, man. The guy was kind of a grouchy old dude. Kind of like me. Okay, I'm going to sit here for a bit. All right, all my tech is, has not been stolen yet. Thank goodness. Beautiful dog, yeah. Do you think Shelly is alive? If so, where is she? I do think she's al alive. Um, Rosie, I, I do think Shelly Miscavige is alive. I think she's, she's in hiding in California, um, living, living a great life with lots of money and 
you know whatever whatever it is that david is giving her but i think i, I think she's kind of a hostage you know um that's what this church does they they hold hostages um they they ruin lives they take money they abuse children and they abuse elderly people so you know i mean they're this the sea org members are making what 47 dollars a week i don't know if that's changed but um 47 dollars a week is not enough you know even if you do get free housing like, like what do you do with 47 dollars a week you know they give you food and housing okay great but what if it's not food that you want <laughs> you know i mean there's just lots of lots of things to consider with this church alive and in the hole with lots of money yes jen um where in california petrola twin peaks gold base could be anywhere really i mean he could have david miscavige has so much money guys i mean i i believe he's a billionaire right so with a billion dollars you can do pretty much anything you want you can you know be anonymous you can i mean there's just so much you know there's just so much to it like uh all that money like you can do anything you can get plastic surgery to look different so that way you're not recognized you know maybe shelly is among people in la you never know you know maybe she got uh um you know maybe she got uh plastic surgery i don't know who knows i gotta move this chair up that sun is starting to really really beat down uh that oh doggy cam <laughs> um you know there's a lot Heard from an ex-member in chat that they're having to steal toilets, toiletries, shaking my head all while uh, David Miscavige is living the life. You see, that's what I'm saying. Ooh, somebody's smoking some good gonch. Who's smoking that gonch? Give me some. Although I don't smoke during the day. Hmm. That smells so good. <laughs> I, re I really wish I could smoke during the day, guys. But I have to be very, very cogent and very, very attentive and very on my game during the day when I, especially when I'm doing lives. Um, I could be at Twin Peaks in 30 minutes. You should go, Pugface. $47 a week, it would take you 96 years to be able to afford to go up the bridge to O eight O T eight. Is there even such a thing as OT8? I mean, honestly, is there such a thing as OT8, 9, 10? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking you. You know, I know nine and ten are are non-existent for the most part. But but OT8 is that even a thing? Are there OT8 uh, members? Forty-seven bucks a week. If you're a perfect cultist, they can do and do. Yeah, they can penalize you too. Mitch Brisker saw her a few months before he quit Scientology, which was about a year or two ago. See, there you go. OT8 is highest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, there's the uh, transit police. Those fucking pieces of shit. We ran into those. RTD police. Um, that was the my biggest video, the Smurf video. That was Heidi Hansen and her crew. Band of misfits. That's a scary thing, that police force. We're, we'll... We're working on that too, guys. There's more shit on that that will will come out. Al SoCal, welcome in, buddy. I noticed you've been uh, putting a lot of comments in my uh, my videos, but I really appreciate that, man. Have a great uh, day, Al. And um, you know, if people want to sub to Al, Al's got a great channel. He's a good cop watcher. Um, you know, good dude. OT four twenty. That's right, Sally. Okay, nine through fifteen. Do not. Maybe they're rolling that out one day. You know, if they run out of ideas, they'll roll out 08, 9 to, to 15. <laughs> Sandy Lee, I'm with you. I'm with you. OT 420. Oh, we got doggy cam coming up here. Little Corgi. Look at that cuteness. Look at this dog. This dog is so cool. 
<laughs> Currently dry docked. Okay. Look at this dog, guys. Look how cute. Your dog is awesome, man. <laughs> Thank you. So cool. Hi, buddy. Can I, can I pet him? By all look means. at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. You're so cute. Look at you, buddy. Oh, my God. Cuteness overload. Look at you. <laughs> all right. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> He's good. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Go Rockies. <laughs> look, it is opening day. Okay. Yeah, I know. Take care, buddy. All right. See ya. <laughs> all right. That was awesome. I got uh, manhandled by a dog there. <laughs> I know. It, well, it's, it's going to be 75 today, Amy. It's going to be a great day today. It's already, I mean, the sun is beating down. Like, these clouds are starting to dissipate. It's uh, turning out to be a very, very lovely day in the mile high. And we're, like, since we're 5,280 feet above sea level, like, the sun, sun is closer to you. So you really feel it. Like, it, it's always beneficial to have a few... Um, few clouds you know but um uh right now it's just it's perfect gorgeous weather gorgeous gorgeous weather uh looking for a male bull terrier stud keep an eye out for me davin says male bull terrier that's interesting do you you have a female bull terrier if you get puppies davin if you ever get puppies i'm interested in a bull terrier that's bernie's dream dog a bull terrier so if you ever get puppies davin get a hold of me bro <laughs> matter of fact Gavin, can you email me again just tell me uh just uh email me and and ask me what what i i'm gonna ask you i don't want to ask you on the stream but or, or tell you or whatever but just uh just email me Gavin, and i'll uh i'll get with you because there's something i don't know there's just something okay <laughs> all right um hellraiser welcome nice to have you in chat it ain't no pug. That's right, pug face. It's not a pug. High of 50. Wow. OTA Tori Magoo, 44, YouTube when she left. Oh, I know. Tori is amazing. Um, they took a million of her dollars. And she wants her money back. It's cold. It has to be over 80 degrees to wear shorts. Not here, Amy. If you lived in Denver, short weather is about 50 degrees. Seriously, as long as the sun is out... You feel confident in wearing shorts here in Denver. I mean, I, I'm not joking with you. 50, 60, 70, fine, perfect. 80 gets a little too warm for me. 80 and 90 and forget 100. 100 is way too hot. You have a pug? That's cool. Bubbles. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Jen, for putting in that link. It does help. Um, did I miss anything? Hold on. It's snowing here, Pup Groomer says. Are you are you in Canada, Pup? Yeah, um, Davin, if you ever get those uh, Bull Terrier puppies, let me know, because uh, I would definitely be interested in that. I good can't afford but uh, Bernie wants a dog so bad, and, and bull, she, she really wants a Bull Terrier really wants a bull terrier that's like her her dream dog it's, a, it's amazing that you oh hold on you can get out sir there's still time don't give them any more of your money i didn't have time to get the bullhorn yeah nance for sure oh rural northeastern nevada and you're getting snow wow 16 year old black lab late last year uh, living vicariously through all the dog content, yeah. So, Vietnam vet, please don't go into there. Please don't do it. That sucks. Uh, fuzzy pink handcuffs. I'm. I hate. Uh, Sixteen years, a long time to be with a, a pet, and obviously you gave that pet a really great life, and I'm sure that pet gave you so much joy. Uh, animals are amazing. Animals are innocent. Pugs will eat anything. 6,500, get up in the mountains. Yeah, there you go. Snowing a bit here in Ontario, cold and gross. Yeah. 
I'm always cold with my Raynaughts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting around a few more minutes. I, I think Joe Cole was gonna gonna meet meet me here and say hey, but uh, I don't want to stick around too too long. I want to take you guys on a on an old school Colfax run. Uh, I think it's important to get back to my roots sometimes and uh, you know reflect on how far I've come and and always recognize the things that that got me here and the people that got me here and um, you know the chatters and mods and just everybody in general it's just uh it's a cool thing to uh you know it's a it's it's just a nice feeling today is all about love and kindness and sharing and caring and uh getting people up to their goals um whatever they may be you know 50 100 200 a thousand five thousand whatever your goal is i i love to get people their goals we helped a couple of people achieve their goals today i think we got bernie back over 200 can somebody check on that for me make sure bernie's uh, still over 200 because sometimes youtube oh doggy cam <laughs> um get ready to take mine to the vets oh solicitous hopefully um hopefully your uh, pet is okay thank you for being here so long otsa you learned that everything that they taught you an OT 1 through 8 is bullshit, and you weren't auditing your past lives. You were auditing the past lives of your Thetans. There, I saved you 800000 Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's BS, right? I mean, they, they pull the rug out from under you, you know? Shorts and t-shirt in the winter mountains of Colorado when the sun is out. Yeah, exactly, Patrick. I mean... People think I'm crazy when I say 40, 50 degrees, you can, you can be okay to, you know, be out with maybe just a light jacket if it's breezy, but as long as the sun out, it feels warm, you know, it feels hot. I don't know. It's just different here in Denver. Way different here in Denver and in the mountains for sure. Yeah, I don't have 800,000 anyways. I'm nowhere near that working on it one super chat at a time <laughs> no i don't get a lot of money from from doing this at all I, I don't do it for the money at all i mean if i get money that's great so. how you guys doing are you a parking guy am i a park no i'm not a parking guy um uh, i i think the church of scientology owns this uh yeah, do. this lot um i'm not a parking guy no I, pay. I don't know I don't know that's a good question you might try a different lot they don't have any attendance out here so there's a lot right straight across that somebody might be able to help you um, there's also one straight over there Th this lot is really weird I think they ran out a lot of their space to the um, the people over in this complex here I parked and here last year oh did you it cost me 40 bucks but they gave me a big Scientology Bible oh did they did you read it? No. Oh, good. Um, you know what? They're open if you want to go inside there, but just don't let them take any more of your money other than It took the me parking. so long to park there. Well, go ask them. Yeah, go ask them. Yeah. I'm sure they'll accommodate. They love money. They love money. There you go. I actually directed somebody to go in the building. Can you believe that, guys? But I know this guy's not going <laughs> to not going to give them any mind. Uh, the NBA is in full swing. It's almost playoff time, Alan. Um, if you want a, a good bet, Alan, put some money on the Nuggets to win the championship. Um, that, I think they got a really good shot at it this year, uh, just like they did last year. You would have made a killing last year if you bet on the Nuggets, uh, Alan. Um, and you'll make a little bit of money if, you, uh, if they win it this year. I think their odds are like 350, um, 450, somewhere around there. I, I got money on the Nuggets to win. I put $5 on them. Uh, if I win, and that $5 I got for, from a free bet that I won before. Um, so if I win, I'm going to make $27 off of that $5. So uh, the odds might be a little less right now, uh, Alan, but it's still a good bet. I promise you it'll still be a good bet. Um, the love of money is the root of all evil. That's, that's very prevalent, uh, Carthy. 
this was literally a sign from Zenu. You were asking for 800,000 and boom, these guys roll up and offer you money. I know, I should have been like, yeah, 40 bucks, here you go. <laughs> They're like, are you an attendant? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I've never been accused. I guess I am sitting on a chair. It kind of looks like I'm an attendant, right? Um, so, you know. Joe Cool on scene, where? Where is he? I don't see him. I don't see his old ass. What'd they tell you? Did they tell you anything? They're not doing it anymore. What? They closed the damn gate. There aren't any gates, they took them on. <laughs> wow. Those guys are assholes. What are they well, doing? Well, check out, check out that, that lot there. And then there's one right straight across the street here. And, and they're, they still have a few slots over there. Well, that's so. a one way, so I'm going Yeah, yeah, go that way and just go over there. Yeah, take hey, care, you. fellas. Sorry that didn't work out for you. But at least you didn't give them money. Later, Rosie. Yeah. Okay. Um, Nora Deceiver, and that's why you didn't as well as why we love you. Thank you, Carthy. Charge M75, I could have got a shirt, I know. Later, Rosie, thank you for being here. Punch Buggy, welcome. They're not doing anymore, they're all clear, exactly. That, did you catch that? I made up my reactive mind and I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah, their reactive mind, that's right. They're not doing it anymore, how stupid. I mean, that's a big money maker. I mean, 40 bucks a pop, they got what? Even even if they have 40, let's say, let's say even 20. Let's say they got 20, 20 uh, slots available. 40 bucks a pop, that's uh, what? 800 bucks that they could make every day? That's insane. Good luck, guys. Take it or 50 bucks. I could have, but I'm, I'm a good guy, so I don't do that. I'm a, this is, I'm, I'm live streaming. I'm protesting Scientology, actually. When somebody goes in, I get my megaphone. When somebody goes in, I get my megaphone and tell them that, that don't waste your money. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they do. Yeah. They yeah. Their yeah, they suck. Let's just put it that way. It's easier for people to understand. They take your money. Take care, buddy. Have a good day, man. Go Rockies. Yeah, <laughs> that guy's cool. He's not a Scientologist, Buckface. Too many witnesses, yep. They're not doing it, that's right. NYC garages charge over $60. Yeah, it can, it can get pricey here too. Um, they charge 40, 50, 60, just depends, you know? Depends on the event. You know, if it's a concert, they up their prices. If it's like a baseball game, slightly less although they were charging 40 bucks here that's kind of crazy but it is only a block away from the stadium so you know i can't hear hear that <laughs> i know where is he at he's probably gonna sneak up on me what the hell is joe cool <laughs> you guys know that laugh right sandy see you later have a good day. Uh, what else? Cali and, and their parking is crazy. It is it is crazy in LA, no doubt. A lot of money there, like for sporting events especially. I'm just waiting for Joe Cole to get here and then after we'll make a quick uh, quick visit. Oh, I gotta stand up. Oh. Where the hell is Joe Cool? Ellie said he's on scene, but I don't see him. Yeah, he goes, ah, and watch what. I'll try to make him laugh. I'll try to make him laugh when he gets here. I'll get him to laugh, guys. He's, he's got one of the most unique laughs of anybody. He sort of sounds like what I just did, but, you know, can't quite uh, get that 
pitchiness to his uh, exact match, but I think I was pretty close. Ellie, what do you think? He's on Blake, so he's like here. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Old ass is probably all the way down at the stadium, down there. This is, I'm on Blake Street. The Scientology building is on Blake, so I don't know what's going on with Joe Cool. Ah, oh, hold on. Don't give them any more of your money. You deserve better. You're too young. Get out while you can. You have family that loves you. You deserve way better. I seen Def Leppard in concert, told the gate man I was there. They opened uh, with Hellraiser. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Def Leppard has a song called Hellraiser, or is it the one that I'm thinking of that Ozzy Osbourne and Motorhead did, Hellraiser? I'm looking for Joe Cool, because then I'm, I'm going to, we're going to jet out of here after that. We're going to go down Colfax and catch us a cop watch. Where is he, Ellie? I'm in, I'm, I'm on the side of the Scientology building. I don't want to go walking over there. I, I did too much walking already. My back is feeling it. Where the hell is that old man? <laughs> Bug face. He's been stopped by fans who, who think he's Snoop Dogg. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't quite see that resemblance, but... Okay. <laughs> All right. We're having fun here. We're going to have more fun, guys. Stick around. Um, I'm just going to meet up with Joe Cole here real quick. And Oh, look at this old motherfucker. There he is. Look at this old motherfucker. Come watch. Wait, watch, guys. I'll get him to laugh. Watch this. Look, he's already laughing. Look, check him out. Look at this fucking bum that's on the street here. This is a homeless person in the streets of uh, Denver. How's it going, my man? That's good, baby. How you doing? Uh, good, good. How you doing, Joe? I'm chilling. In a while. Uh, what you smoking? Probably ain't that long. Uh, Funkberry. Funkberry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we should take a trip to the car soon. <laughs> no, 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 man. You out here with a megaphone, huh? What's going on? I am. We're, we're protesting this uh, Scientology get up here. You know all about Scientology? I know about it. I got the Ellie Crash Course lesson. Yeah. Uh, and I know a little bit, maybe. Yeah. What do you know that I don't know? Well, they uh, they traffic uh, children. They traffic. Oh, that's new. I didn't they know They traffic that. people. They um, uh, child abuse, elderly abuse. You know, all kinds of shit, man. Um, that's the crash course in it. Wow. Um, but if you want to get more in depth, I mean, they 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 basically steal people's retirement. Yeah, I know, you know they take every cent you got. The, if you work for them, you make $47 a week. So, Man, no, YouTube yeah. was bad. You thought YouTube was bad? <laughs> Motherfucker, you make way more than me. <laughs> Government's got to get their piece of the pie, too, man. You know? YouTube takes their 30%. Government yeah. takes their 30%. It's You're left with brutal. pennies. Yeah. Let's see what I can see in here. Oh, yeah. No, it's just a parking lot. This is your setup? That's my setup, bro. <laughs> uh, wait, come here, man. I need to hear that laugh again, man. Fucking pimp. You I can't do it spontaneously, bro. What? You can't do that fucking piece of shit laugh you got? <laughs> there you go. I knew that would make him laugh. I knew that would make him laugh. See, there you go. Uh, if you guys don't know who Joe Cool is, he's a 1A guy, 1A legend. But um, as people went in here, you just yell at them, you know, hey, there's a better way. Don't don't spend any more of your money type shit, you know? Yeah. So, uh, how's the homeless life uh, going, uh, uh, Joe? 
No, nice. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we go Saturday to Sunday. We go to Anybody ever tell you that, man? Like, just stop by and like drop a dollar in your in your hand. Never you know? happened. Well, I do it often. Never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be cool with that, man. You know, yeah, just like playing, right? you know, I'd just be sitting there and like you know have a little cup and people put a dollar too and walk on by. You know, I think that would be awesome. Make like a hundred dollars a day just sitting and enjoying the sun, you know, type thing. All right, so, so uh, a, a game apparently we're about a stadium or something? Yeah, opening day. We're about a block away from Coors Field, which is right there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Opening day, man. So there should be some folks out here. Oh, yeah. And that's what they'll do. Like, they're not doing it right now, but later on they'll try to route people into the building. Yeah. So they can suck them into buying the Dianetic book for like 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever they charge. They ever uh, try to suck you in? Uh, uh, fuck no, man. They, they, uh, I mean, everybody knows who I am here, bro. Come on, man. I got that book, by the way. What's that? Dianetics. I got that book. You I got it? I read it, but uh, yeah. Where did you get it, man? My you old some... man gave it to me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Was he a Scientologist? He's big. No, he's just a, a, a trivia buff. That ah. time to do yeah. He didn't believe in church, God, religion. I didn't yeah. believe in God. But it's it's never too uh, never too bad to uh, like learn about shit, you know? Yes, yeah, so I look at everything. I'd read Mein Kampf, mein Kampf if that was an English person. Oh, there's English versions of it. I know, I just ain't looked. I ain't looking for it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's all interesting. you should have seen, Joe, there was a, a couple of old dudes and they, they came in here into the parking lot. They were just looking for parking for the Rockies game. Yeah. And they come over here and he's like, are you an attendant here? And I'm like, I, I was thinking about oh, it. I'm well, like, yeah, kind of, so uh, 25 bucks. I'll leave. 50 bucks, bro. Nifty, nifty and I'll be up. <laughs> Give me a 50 and I'll be... I'll, I'll definitely be an attendant. No, I, I can't do that to people, right, man. Right. Just uh, my, my moral compass is too correct, bro. You know. So what are you doing, man? I'm in here for a couple days. Uh, I'm going to probably do the Denver to feed on Sunday. So maybe three days or something. What are you doing? The feed. What do you feed? Uh, uh, Janice oh, Kitchen at Janice Kitchen. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. And I'm going to have uh, dinner with friends tonight. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Are there new charges on EB? On oh, EB, Eric Brandt. Uh, yes, there are no charges, federal charges. Yeah. What are they? They've already moved. Same shit, threats, uh, over phone, communications threats. Really? Yeah, they've already moved to new Louisiana. Ones? New ones? No one's federal this time. They moved him where? Uh, Louisiana. Oh, he's in Louisiana yeah, now. He hates the place, you know, yeah. which is the step down. In Denver, you know, it's FedEx type shit. Right. And and here in Louisiana, you got fans and just open dorm rooms and no AC and, you know, it's really poor. And, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, he just left club fed type shit. Yeah. But so he was sulking. We talked to him yesterday. He's not, I don't know. He's depressed a bit, mm. which is understandable. Fuck, Louisiana jail. Worse. Have you uh, you see the uh, the new uh, charge on Regan Benson? No. Harassment. Harassment. <laughs> Get out of she that followed. I don't know if you saw it, but she she followed this, this security guard around on his break and shit, and uh, he didn't want to press charges, but I think the pressure just got to him, and he uh, they're uh, wow. go, going forward with that harassment. Yeah, like to check that shit out. Uh. Yeah. Thought you might like to know that. <laughs> I'm not rooting for her downfall or anything, but it is interesting. No, I don't rule. You know, I don't wish anybody harm or good. I just, I'm right. just me. You know. That's but, how I feel, man. It's just yeah. gonna happen whether I'm there or not. Right. Man. It doesn't matter. Like it's, you know, what I say doesn't, you know, doesn't affect it. So. Exactly. I watch fucking furry face a motherfucking two feet from her. I want to see the shit. I mean, you know. I, yeah. You know, yeah. I don't think it's no judgment about me. So where'd you park, man? Right around this corner. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be leaving here real soon, man. I got to do some things and stuff. Yeah. But, well, are you going to be, like, in town today? or? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be in town for the next couple, three days. A couple, so, three days? Yeah. Okay. I, I won't be more than 20, 30 minutes away from you. Where are you headed after this? Back to Chi-Town? Uh, no, I'm going to hang in Denver for a minute. I might hit that homeless hotel, wherever the fuck that shit that I uh, went there last time. Oh, the one where they're raiding everybody's fucking rooms? 2,600 and... uh, crime, more phone calls per cent more yeah. phone calls and shit 
And that's to kill me enough time before my buddy ready. I didn't even stop over there. I stopped him first. Oh, did you? Yeah, <laughs> so I'll stop over here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, yeah I'm going to be leaving here, man. The, the action is here. It's not... It's zero. Not... It's just as, uh, dead around No, I, I got everybody that went in, but it'll be like once this game gets out, you see the foot traffic here. It's going to be... Yes, all It's going to be wild good. later. Very good. I'll come back then. Yeah, yeah. Make sure and come back later, man. Jay will be here and... Um, you know, I saw stuff. you and Kate out yesterday live somewhere. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. You see that little debacle? I saw some of it, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the police were called because you guys. No, just the security. They didn't want to oh, call the, the police. Security, yes, yeah. right. One of you said, why would you call security? Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. yeah. Did you see how I cornered the bitch that called him? I don't think so. No. Yeah, she, no. she, okay, so, so this is how it happened, Joe. I, um, Kate and I went in there and we were, you know, asking about some FOIA requests that we didn't get a response on. Right. You know, normal shit, you know. Yes. So that. they didn't know how to handle us. And that the, 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 the PIO guy there decided that he wanted to try to kick us out. Well, of course, you're dealing with two of the best here. The PIO guy, the, the, the guy who should know these things decided yeah. to kick us yeah. out. And he's like, I'm going to have to ask you guys to leave. I was like, <laughs> Kate, I was like, well, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> 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 so... Um, yeah, it was a, it was a debacle. I, I I have to post the beginning part of that yeah. because in in that one I totally embarrassed all of them because I the 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 secretary was like, yeah. well he's not in right now the PIO. Yeah. I'm like okay you know no problem he's not here right now you know right. maybe we'll come back later whatever. Right. About ten minutes later the motherfucker shows up well, he's right so, there. Yeah. I'm like and, and so what I did I said so is this the only entrance here? Right, to, to the PIO before you right yeah. is this the only entrance here yeah. and he goes yeah that's the only entrance and I looked at the lady Bitch, like you yeah so so he was um, you know he was a he, he kept on cutting Kate off off every time he was talking yeah. and I'm like let him let him speak you're interrupting every two seconds man right, that right. I know you're used to you know yes, handling yes. things the way that yes, you handle them yes, not having to but <laughs> but you you know that's not how this works here not with Good. us you know yeah. you can treat an average person like that but you're not treating <laughs> us like that you know so so he got all upset um and and so you know i caught him on that and then he was talking some more bull I'll, I'll put the video up and you guys can see it like it, it's it's more context of what happened in the live and then right, right, once right. i i found out that they were and that's another thing I called them out on. I was like, who the hell called out? Well, nobody called out. Nobody called them. Nobody called. I was like, so they just showed up Psychic out of the blue here for us? Focus. Really? And then the one se the security guard, I guess he was a lieutenant. He goes, um, uh, well, we're going to have to trespass you. I'm like, oh, really? Welcome I'd back. like to see you try yeah, that. Yeah. And then and then KDOT's like, well, call the police, you know, call the police. We're ready. They're you know, right, right. you can't kick us out of this building. It's They're a, right. it's a public. He tried to say that it was a private building. Yeah. The public schools, Good Aurora shit. public yeah. schools. Yeah. He goes, I know it says public schools, but this is a private building. I'm like, the fuck it is, yeah. man. Who pays for it? It's yeah. The government can't own private schools. Right, no, right, they can't right. Own shit. No, no, that's not how things work. You yeah. know, that's. So there's more context to that video. It'll be coming out today or tomorrow. Yeah, I'll but. check it out. Actually, I'll be on the run for days. I might not be seeing a lot of fucking videos. You're going to be driving a lot? I'll be driving a lot or filming, finding places, sitting up, camping out, chasing police up and <laughs> well, down. Well, you, yeah. you know Colfax, man. You know Colfax, bro. So, I don't never uh, leave without after, Colfax. After I get done here, I'm actually going to take a run down Colfax just yeah. to see, you know. Yeah, I might do that so, too. Yeah, take a run, man. You might. You definitely will see somebody today. Uh, yes, yes, you know? yes. Oh shit, I don't even know how much time I got to kill. Well, what do you got? Let's see. Let's Just take see. a drive down Colfax, man. You got time, man. It doesn't well, take no, that long. Well, I got long. time, but uh, uh, let me see. I think I got time. With this deli. All right, we don't know. Uh, uh, have you found any Scientologists? Yes, I have. Several of them went in there. Um, Turdology. 420, welcome. Barbara, welcome. Angel fan. Home opener this eve. Yeah, this is uh, Denver. We're, um, this is the home opener for the Rockies. I'm going to be leaving here, but stay, stick with me. We're going to be listening to some good tunes. Um, there was one sheriff up there, but I already checked it out. There's nothing going on there. 
Nothing going on. I did go up there. Oh shit, you, you're talking about the one way down there. Yeah, there is a cop down there, but I think they're just doing traffic control. Um, okay, what do we got here? Anybody routing? Not yet. Um, but later on in the day, you guys are going to want to uh, head over to Jay's stream because he's going to be here at the Scientology building. There's going to be lots of people uh, walking down this way and they will be routing people to try to get them to go inside the building. Um, I'm pretty sure of it. Opening day is a huge day. There, there's never going to be a day where there's more foot traffic on these two sidewalks than two days. So um, definitely check out Jay's stream later. Um, but not right now. <laughs> He's not live now. He's got to deal with some stuff. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys an old school Colfax run. Are you going? You going? Yeah. You All right. Back. Well, you can follow me. I'm I'm going to be. You know, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to go down, do a quick Colfax run, headed east yeah. into Aurora. All right. So. Are you coming back this way? No, not today. I got other All stuff right, to right. do. I was but. Sad ride with you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not coming back this way today. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll yeah. Probably, yeah, if I'll I probably. find anything, uh, just watch my live and, and yeah. you'll, you'll see it. I'm going to stay live until, until I get on that side of town and then I'll, then I'll be done. Uh, I like that hat, my man. That's cool. Back out tonight, man. Yeah, like maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. I got my show to do tonight, too. Yes, though. Sirs, man. I love that. <laughs> Pimping. All right, great, bro. Great search, gentlemen. The best search we'll see today, guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Joe. Nice seeing you again, my friend. Have a good day, man. Stay safe. Uh, if you uh, if you if you see anything on my channel, stop on by, man. I'll just be on Colfax. So right on, man. All right, let's cross the street here, guys. Get into the shark and then we'll listen some tunes. Ooh, I don't want to block their, their way here. Hold on, can I go? Can I go? Yes, I can go. All right. Hang tight, y'all. Good God, y'all. The shark is looking amazing today. Hang tight, guys. I'll uh, do chat with you guys. We will get to some business. All right, I'm going to get in my car here okay Whoo. MLH raid who's who's raiding me what's up Erica nice to have you here Canada what's up Marth Marth Meringue I don't know if I said that right maybe it's Martha uh I need a blunt oh yeah Joe Cole's got plenty of blunts really stoked for a Colfax run we'll get ready Get ready guys because we're going to go on a Colfax run right as soon as I get this camera out of this thing. Okay. Oh. All right. Hang tight. Um, the chat's going to be upside down for me, but hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, I can't read chat. The chat's going to be upside down for me. It's not upside down for you. Hopefully the picture is okay. Uh, but we're going to go on a Colfax run. I don't, I don't read chat while I'm driving anyways for safety reasons. Uh, but we're going to go on a Colfax run here, guys. Um, this is seven, something I have not done in a long time. Well, at least a little while. And this is the root of the channel. This right here is what I used to do. And we're going to listen to some tunes. Uh, hold on, let me get something a little bit better. Here we go.
Hang tight, guys. I gotta get out of here. Thank you. All right, we're on. We're, we're out and about now, guys. Let me get out of this muck. It's going to be crazy. And then we'll get on over to uh, Colfax. I promise. Celebrate, everybody. Are cops in Denver as bad as LA? The answer is yes. It might even be worse. Yeah, it's a great song, uh, Alan. Cool in the game. You guys hear the music okay? Seventies? You want seventies music, Hellraiser? Okay, after this. I can't really read chat, guys. It's upside down for me. Mods, I'm 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 gonna have you uh, handle chat uh, because I I simply can't uh, read it. It's upside down, and I'm driving, so uh, real dicey. I don't know why my chat's upside down, but. That better? It's a celebration. All right, we're gonna do this old school. Sorry, guys. Yeah, go ahead, dude. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna try to. Nope. Blocks the camera. Sorry, guys. Ah, dude, come on. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're going to get out of this uh, muck here in just a second. No, let's not. Let's listen to some Guns N' Roses. I know, Erica. It's okay. Be kind and courteous today, right? Carrie Ann, uh, nothing going on. Um, it's opening day at, at uh, Coors Field, and we're listening to some tunes right now. I was protesting for a bit at the uh, Scientology Center, but right now I'm gonna take you guys on a Colfax run with a bit of music. I hope you guys don't mind the shakiness. Um, you know, it is what it is. I have to hold the camera, guys. Next time I'll be cognizant when I start a stream of how I orient the camera so I won't have this problem and I can put you guys on my holder, which is right there. 
Yeah, I know it's hard, Erica, but you have to try to be kind. We have to be try to be kind to people, and um, you know, try just try. That's all we ask. Just try to be kind today. We're trying to get people up to their goals. Um, you know, stuff like that. No, Back Off Bitch is the name of this song, Hellraiser. I got I got it to where I, I turned it around, guys. We're good. That's a little bit better. Sorry. I know that, that uh, that's in the way right now, guys. This little portion right here wherever it is right there but I will fix that I promise back to the zoom tight bless me bless you whatever I know, Jamie. <laughs> I'm trying. I didn't realize that it, it didn't uh, turn the orientation uh, for you guys. So there we go. Uh, just don't mind this little uh, thing here. I have to fix that later. Um, that's just um, like a Rockies like uh, welcome event. A lot of times they'll have like tailgate parties in those park lots or parking or whatever. Ellie, that's what that is. Eighty park. Holy crap, guys! Eighty dollars to park. Seventy dollars to park. Holy cow! Seventy dollars. No, thank you, dude. No, thank you. Oh, here's another good one. Sounds worth it? <laughs> no. $80, man. Holy cow. For one baseball game. No, thank you. Not interested in that. Yes, Hellraiser. Yes! Chris on the drums, on it. Blackened. Bum, 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 nah, nah.
hope you guys are enjoying the tunes. I um, I can't read chat while I drive. I'll try to read chat while we're at stop signs. Almost at Colfax, guys, I promise. Alright guys, we're, we're on Colfax. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit now. Um, we, this, let me explain what these Colfax, Colfax runs are. Um, usually I go from, um, from east to west uh, on these Colfax runs, but right now I'm going west to east. And we're down, we're, Colfax. Colfax is the longest business street in the entire United States. Um, it runs about 22 miles. It goes from the foothills of the mountains all the way. Whoa, whoa, dude. Jeez. Um, it runs um, through Golden, Lakewood, Denver, and Aurora. Right now we're in Denver, so we didn't get to do the Lakewood thing, but we're um, going to uh, towards Aurora right now. Hold on, there's a, oh, it's just a fire truck. Um, but normally what I do on these runs is I look up and down the side streets for cop watches. I want to make sure that the people that are stopped by the cops aren't harassed or beaten up or killed. And the same thing with the cops. I want no, 
nothing bad to happen. So I've been on several cop watches on Colfax Avenue um, where people that were in handcuffs got out of handcuffs when I showed up. People have avoided being arrested while I was there. Um, you know, uh, things of that nature. I just want to make sure everybody's safe. Some of the cop watches have been um, ang uh, like a lot of anger towards the homeless population here. And I want to make sure that the homeless people are treated uh, with respect and um, not harassed and harangued by, by overzealous cops who are power tripping. And uh, that's what I do on Colfax. So, you know, if you, you guys ever see me do a Colfax run, sometimes they're very boring, but other times they're very, very um, enlightening. And, ed, you know, there's opportunities for education all the way around. So that's, uh, that's what I do. Yeah, <laughs> there was a fire truck. What's up, Heather, in the library? Uh, okay, let's listen to, um, uh, let's listen to some Def Leppard. Let's see if it's a good song. Yeah, you guys might like this one. bit better view for y'all uh, I'm working on it I know it's still got a little bit of the uh, the thing but whatever uh, Marthana welcome King Bluto all 
All right, back to some more music. Later, Alan. Nice to have you here, buddy. I know, Carrie Ann. Sorry. Hopefully, it's better. How about a little 50s music? No. No. No, no, no. We're doing this. Getting close to Aurora, folks. If there's anything that's going to go on, it's going to be in this next stretch. Um, if there is any cop action or you know somebody pulled over, I will pull over. I don't do medical events, so if it's a medical event and you guys see it, I won't be pulling over. But if it's um, you know if it's something to do with cops, then uh, you know I want to make sure people are safe. That's all. Continuing on with Dire Straits.
what do we got in chat here? I am DJ for today. All that ridiculous music that promotes crime, degrading women, and glorifying drug use. You don't like rock and roll, Jamie? Here on the left hand side is where I did a lot of my homeless outreach. Um, a lot of homeless people in this area and, and um, you know, takes me back to those days when I had a food source and I could give back to the homeless here. Um, but that's, this is a, a, a lot of where, here in Lakewood, which is way behind us, but um, I would do outreach here a lot too. I like doing it uh, over here because it's a neglected part of the city. Uh, just like Lakewood is so you know uh, getting back to the music though here's Commodore do a lot of journalism I did um, some shootings in this area we just passed by where I did a stabbing uh, story um, you know murders uh, all that type of stuff that's another thing I do I do uh, I do reporting um, like a good journalist should uh, most of the time the lamestream media gets it wrong but uh, here's a uh, Billy Idol eyes without a face
All right, guys, we're coming up to the end of the run here. I'm gonna pull over in just a second and we'll end things. But I, I honestly and truly wanna thank all of you for joining. It's been a, a pleasure to bring opening day Rockies and a quick Colfax run to you. Um, can't thank you guys enough for being there. Um, I was by myself today, um, which, you know, I'm kind of used to that other than, you know, when I'm with KDOT and Jay um, but it, it's important to have you guys as, as witnesses. You've seen the crazy things those Scientologists do. I mean, if you want any proof of it, just uh, check out Jay's stream and what happened with Curtis Johnson. Um, pretty wild stuff there. Um, you know, it's one of those things, but let me pull over and then we'll have a quick, uh, quick chat. And then I will, I will promptly end things. I don't know if anybody is live right now. Uh, Ellie or Jen, do you know anybody that's uh, going live right now that we can do a room raid on? That would be really, really cool. Um, a chat raid, whatever, room raid. <laughs> All right, hang, hang tight with me, guys. I got to get past this little muck here, and then uh, we'll get uh, over to a place where, where I'm able to uh, talk to you guys. I see something up here, though. So hang on. Hang tight with me, guys and gals. Uh, what about some George Thorogood?
what a way to end the stream perfectly. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys being over at the Scientology building with me on my one-man protest. I did the best I could. Uh, didn't have chalk or signs, but I think we did all right. Um, let's room raid Windy City. There's the link right there. I'm pointing at it on my screen. <laughs> but, um, you know, before you guys leave, just take a, a moment. Um, if you guys are suffering from your own mental health issues, please reach out to somebody that you know, love, and trust. In lieu of that, my email is mexicanlonghair at gmail.com. Not a psychiatrist, psychologist, or a counselor, but I do listen. Um, but if I don't get back to you uh, in a timely fashion. Just remember, somebody out there thinks you are their favorite. Um, okay, sorry, I just got a message. Um, just remember, somebody out there thinks you're their favorite. Hold on to that thought. It could save your life. Um, there is a national um, health, mental health hotline for Canada and the United States, North America. Um, it's 988. Dial 988. That'll get get you connected with a professional if you need help. Um, but um, if you're too scared to talk to somebody, make sure that you, you can also text that number. So text 988. Somebody will get with you and text back and forth with you. I know some people are afraid to talk about their mental health issues. So um, it's important to have an alternative. Um, I want to thank all of you guys for being here, being here for me. Um, supporting the channel, doing comments, your, you know, every donation that you give, whether it's PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Super Chats, um, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. Tell Wendy City that the Monster Squad MLH sent you. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. Appreciate you all.